God bless you. I'm Pastor Jesse Moodley, and I want to welcome you today to our wonderful service. Today we have our Pastor Adrian Singh from Durban who will be joining us with praise and worship. I want you to enjoy giving God the glory that He richly deserves. I want you to worship Him today. I want you to join in and give Him all the praise. Amen. You know, the Word of God says that we will not be moved. We will not be shaken because God is for us. Who can be against us? God is within us. He's the one that gives us the strength. Amen. We will not be shaken. We will not be moved because we stand upon the rock, our Lord Jesus Christ. He's become the strong hold in our lives. He is our strong tower. Amen. Let's glorify the Lord this morning. We will not be moved. You're standing with us. We will not be moved. When everything around is shaking, you're not changing. We will not, we will not be moved. Shout of praise in the flame. We will not be moved. 
Amen. Amen. We will not be moved. Amen. God is our source of strength. He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the honor. We're going to lift our hands to him and we're going to glorify him with this beautiful song written by our pastor Adrian. <laughs> worthy of all praise Lord we love you Jesus we love you Lord we love you precious father amen we must give God all the glory the honor and the praise amen he deserves it all even through this pandemic yes we must give God all the praise he deserves it in every situation and this morning you have an opportunity to sow into the kingdom of God. You have an opportunity to honor God with your seed. Whatever you have purpose in your heart to give to God this morning, take it out, put it into the palm of your hands and get ready to bless the Lord our God. He is our provider. Our pastors are going to bless you now with an offering word. So get ready to bless God with your substance. Amen. Hello to you all my brothers and sisters in Christ. We may be far apart in distance, but in the spirit we are all joined together in unity. Amen. I'm Pastor Luann 
and I'm going to share the offering word with you today while you get ready to tithe and sow into the kingdom of God. A special thank you to my spiritual parents for this awesome opportunity. The most important fact that we always must remember that God alone is our source. We must always look to God as Jehovah Jireh, our provider. He alone is the Lord of the harvest, our only provider. In the Bible we read in Luke chapter 10 verse 2, Jesus said to them, The harvest is truly great, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore to the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into the harvest. The young boy with the loaves and fish had only enough for himself. He didn't have enough for the multitude. The little packed lunch was all that he had and he gave it to Jesus. And we all know that Jesus multiplied it and more than 5,000 men had eaten and still there were 12 baskets remaining. Now the young boy had no idea that his life that day was going to change. He seized a divine moment and he had an encounter with the Lord of the harvest. God will use a variety of people, people that you least expect to get a harvest to you. He has a million and one ways to get the blessing and the harvest to you. And the person or the method that he used the last time will not be the same that he uses this time. In whichever way you receive the blessing, the breakthrough and the harvest, remember that it comes only from him alone, the Lord of the harvest. With the current pandemic we face, everyone is worried and filled with fear and anxiety because the enemy has planted seeds of doubt and fear that you don't have enough to sustain yourself, that you need to save for survival for the days ahead. But the enemy will always do this because that is the assignment of the enemy to steal from us, to rob and to kill the supernatural blessing that Jehovah Jireh has in store for us. So kick the enemy to the curb and get ready for God to bless your socks off. Many stop their own breakthrough because they haven't yet learned to stand fully on the truth of God's word. Today, I encourage you to take a step of faith and sow a seed in faith, irrespective of what the natural is telling you. Be led by what the Spirit of God is telling you. Your faith, coupled with your action which is sowing your seed, will guarantee a response from our provider, the Lord of the harvest. When you place the seeds into the hands of the provider, the seed must multiply and the harvest like the loaves and fish, is not an ordinary harvest. It is pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Amen. Our God is a good God, and all the time He is good. Let's bow our heads and pray for our seeds today. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Every seed, every tithe we bring before you, Lord. We thank you, Father, that you will bring the provision, you will bring the blessing, and you will bring the breakthrough. Every seed, every person, every tithe, we place it into your hands today because you are the Lord of the harvest. And we expect the breakthrough. We expect the harvest. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. There are several ways that you can sow a seed or tithe. You can go to silvermoodley.com slash give. You can scan the QR code and it will take you to the page. Follow the prompts. And remember, you can pay via EFT or card. God bless you. Wow, this is Pastor Siva Mudley. And I'm Pastor Jesse Mudley. And we're so excited to be in your homes today. We have a powerful, powerful program for you. God's going to do something really, really mighty. You're going to see the glory of God. You're going to experience God's love, God's joy, God's peace, God's healing power. And uh, we, we're just excited. I'm really excited yes, about the... Um, the guest speaker we have today. Yes, we are. And uh, before we introduce him, we want to just quickly do some announcements and then uh, also welcome Dr. Michael Hughes and young Michael, uh, young, uh, Michael Hughes, evangelist <laughs> Michael Hughes, amen, was coming all the way from us, uh, all the way to us from Hawaii. Yes. Sorry, this is like a double, so I'm just going to move out, it'll take still for a second. Coming all the way to us from Hawaii. 
and uh, we love the Hughes family from MiracleNet, and uh, they have introduced us to a mighty man of God, a hero of mine, in fact, and uh, we're going to introduce him in a second, and he's here today on the program with his wife, yes. amen, <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. so we're excited to have them both on the program here today. Um, I know that people are watching us from all over the world and all over Africa, so Raquel, if you could just tell us where they are watching us from. And, uh, and uh, want to we want to just welcome everyone that's watching us from different parts of the world, right? And while you're doing that, just to remind you again, uh, we had an awesome time on Sunday. Isn't it amazing? The amount we of miracles did. and we people did. got healed. People got drunk in it's their homes. It's not stopping. It's still Drunk coming. in their homes, both in the 7 a 9 a.m. and in the 7 p.m. Yes. as well on, on Faith Channel. And um, next week, uh, this coming Sunday, we have a special, mm. a Mother's Day special Mother's with Day two special. mighty Christian <laughs> women of God. And uh, 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 they'll be here at Sunday 9 a.m. because it's Mother's Day here in South Africa. I guess it's Mother's Day all over the world. <laughs> and then uh, next week, um, Wednesday night, we have Robert's, Robert's Lydon. And the week after that, we have Billy Burke. Billy Burke. Amen. So uh, we've got three mighty healing ministries, but I am especially prejudiced to today's speaker. <laughs> all right. For one, he, uh, he also has... Uh, he's also married to an Asian wife. Just like me, I'm also married to an Asian wife as well. Oh, wow. Amen. <laughs> so we got one thing in common, amen. <laughs> but uh, I just love him. And uh, just to tell you a little bit about who he is, I know that normally we just, you know, we go through the entire uh, uh, resume and yes, all that stuff. We do. <laughs> but I just want to talk about him. Uh, maybe this time I'll introduce him a little yes, bit differently. Please, please That's do. okay with you guys. So a few years ago, uh, oh, sorry, before I do that, before I do that, before I do that. There are so many people from around the world that's watching us right now. Uh, there's people from obviously all over South Africa, people from Durban, Johannesburg, Cape Town, Bloemfontein. And then we have uh, people from the US. Uh, we have people from India, uh, Uganda, uh, the Eastern Cape, uh, uh, people from Mozambique, Tanzania, Zimbabwe, mm. uh, Kenya, Namibia. And, and it's just going on and on. We've got some people from, uh, uh, from the U.S., from Switzerland, Sweden, and U.K., and so on. So welcome to all of you guys. Good to have you on the program. And I know you're going to be blessed today on the program. Now, a f uh, about uh, uh, a few years ago, I can't use it, like 16 years ago, mm -hmm. I think um, I stand corrected. <laughs> we had something very crazy happen in our ministry. It was uh, not normal, abnormal, right? And um, it first, the first thing that happened is that people in the church started getting covered in gold dust. And we didn't know where it came from, how it turned up. But they started getting covered in gold dust week after week, service after service. Then we started finding diamonds in the church. Yes, we did. And then we started seeing um, people lose weight instantly. Mm -hmm. We called it supernatural weight loss. Mm -hmm. And then we had money manifesting. And then uh, uh, people's hair started growing back on. Yes. Uh, and that, that's still now and then happens in our crusades. And, and then a whole lot of other stuff happened. Yeah, I got translated. Growing. Yeah, and I got <laughs> translated twice in the process as mm -hmm. well. And uh, when this happened to us, when this crazy stuff, and the reason why I'm saying crazy stuff is because I know for some of you out there, this is not normal church. But when these things happen, I said, God, what's going on here? Why are you, why are you creating a problem for me again? You know, and God, God always gets me into trouble. So, so why are you getting me into trouble again? And he said, well, son, this is signs and wonders, and it comes because of the glory. And he started teaching me about the glory, and in those days, there was no one really talking about the glory. No. And I said, I need to know more and more about the glory. And so I researched, and I found two books, and these were the, oh my God, <laughs> these were like <laughs> the most amazing books I've ever read. Yes. The stuff in them, I mean, it's like on another, completely another level. And, and the two books were actually uh, Glory Invasion, right? Yes. And the other one was Mysteries of the Glory Revealed, right? Mm. And, uh, uh, we sorry, Mysteries Mis of the Glory Unveiled. Unveiled. Yeah. We couldn't right. put those books down. Yeah, so I read those two books and I started watching this program on TV with this young couple called Glory Invasion. I think mm -hmm. it was. Well, no, it's no. Oh, the Glory Zone. Glory Zone, yeah. Glory Zone, Glory Zone, right. And, uh, and so my son David, all of us grew up on it, on the Glory Zone. And... Uh, 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 and and uh, so I started learning more and more about the glory from this uh, uh, mighty man of God. 
And, um, and you know, when you understand the glory, uh, I guess most people in the body of Christ don't really understand the glory. Mm. Maybe sometimes as much as 80, 90% of people don't really understand what the glory is. A lot of people preach about it. A lot of people sing songs about it. A lot of people have even written books about it. But, uh, and, uh, but they've associated the glory with the anointing. Mm. And they don't understand what it really is. And uh, uh, I've even read some books recently as well by people. And one book that was very good, I must recommend, is uh, 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 The Glory by Apostle Maldonado. Oh, okay. yes. But it, uh, it's an excellent book for someone who doesn't know anything about the glory. Mm. Okay. It, it gives you a very good introduction to the glory. But if you want to do surgery on the glory, if you want to go and find out the, 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 the nuggets about the glory, you know, uh, the secrets about the glory, then you've got to read these books by this man of God. There's, there's nobody like him. And no. that's why I like him so much. I've never met anyone like him. That, you know, like, and, and, and he helped me to understand these things. Because yeah. for you know, for a moment I said, my God, God is telling me all this stuff. But what if I went crazy? Like, what because a lot stuff? of people are afraid to <laughs> yeah, step you know, out but, into the glory. But it was him. And he's, he's been a forerunner. But he's not only a forerunner. He's still the world expert. Now, this is for me. I'm saying this to you. <laughs> I know there's, there's probably several thousand of you watching us on the live stream. He's the world expert on the glory. And it, that's what he is. And that's what I love about him. He's, he's such a humble man of God. He's a mighty man of God. David and Catherine got to watch him live uh, in February, February this, this year, year in Miami. And, uh, and they said, Dad, you know, guess who was speaking right now? It was David Hazak. <laughs> and, you know, and we grew up watching him yeah. and, and he's here, he's here live. So I want to welcome on the show today, uh, it's his full screen, <laughs> my, my guy, my, 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 my technical director is saying full screen, full screen. I thought I got it on full screen. Uh, is this his full screen, isn't it? Okay, okay, my little guy will come here and he'll, he'll mess up the screen. Oh, there we go, this there one, there's are. it, yeah. Right. Is that the one? Is that the one? Right. So we have on the program a very, very special guest. Don't worry, you know, we, we have lots of fun on the set. So we do lots of mischief <laughs> on the set and we, we, it's pretty normal. This is the way we are, amen? So we have on the set uh, uh, a very, very, very mighty man of God, David Hazok and his beautiful wife, Stephanie, Stephanie. Hazok, amen? And we just want to welcome them. And welcome. also on the set, you. we have Dr. Michael Hughes and young Michael Hughes. Evangelist so all the way from Hawaii. So David <laughs> and his hey. wife are coming to us from um, Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. Yes. And uh, uh, near, well, we, they, they, well, they're near Maricopa, Maricopa, where we were, right? Yes. And uh, they're coming all the way from Phoenix, Arizona. And the Hughes family, as you guys know, I know all of you know the Hughes family by now. They're coming all the way from beautiful Hawaii. Oh, wow. Amen. That's the place I've been praying Man. for to go and suffer for Jesus. <laughs> I really want to go there and suffer for Jesus. Amen. So, Lord, please yeah. send me to Hawaii. Amen. Many are so, God bless you. So, Many welcome. First, to, let's just quickly greet the Hughes family. And then we're going to greet uh, David and his wife because we're going to let them minister today. Yes. And we're going to... Give them uh, 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 the spotlight in a second. Yes, so first, the Hughes family, welcome. Good to have you guys. Welcome, doctor. Welcome. Well, glory to Jesus. Glory, amen. glory, glory. Amen, amen. To, you always have here. these beautiful suits. Amen. Yeah, I amen. love those suits you wear. <laughs> amen. I'm missing my suit. I'm missing my suit, you know. I'm becoming more Americanized with my with my shirt and t-shirt and so on. But when <laughs> church starts, I'm going to go back to my suits. Amen. But you're looking handsome. Amen. And uh, Amen. Michael as well. I wanted Michael to put, a, I wanted to put a plug in for you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to be here. David, David and Stephanie Herzog are without a doubt great, mighty people of yes. God. And, uh, and as uh, Dr. Moodley said, they're leaders in the glory movement. But I also want to say Dr. Moodley operates as he touched on a little bit very strongly in the glory i met both of them at different times in india and we got to give credit it's actually the same month the same month it was the same uh, month one came first um i think uh david came david, first david, okay so we had like uh, and i want to give credit to dr sam or yeah dr sam pata who has a church there in hyderabad and had both these two great men have got in within a month's time on the glory. And all of a sudden, we just got immersed in the glory. 
and uh, got gold dust all over us, di diamonds in Michael's hand. Yeah. Uh, and it wasn't just once, it was over and over again. It changed my life. I actually got healed of a speech impediment um, after reading Glo Glory Hallelujah. Invasion and preaching for the first time. And yeah. So I wanted to give glory to God in how he's working through the Herzogs and through the Moodleys. Praise Jesus. Oh, that's awesome. Jesus. Amen. 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 But we love you. We love your heart, Dr. Michael. And thank you for introducing us to so many mighty men of God. Uh, you're a, a leader, Stalwart. That's what we call you here in South Africa in the television, in the Christian television ministry. And we just love the amount of souls you brought to Jesus the amount of people that have been healed in your ministry, and the amount of good you've done. I mean, I was in India. I stayed in your home, and I've seen uh, the work that you and your family have done for millions and millions of people. You know, a lot of people in India don't know the major ministries in the world came to India because of you and Miracle Net. Amen. So thank you for that. And thank you for you. All the glory goes children. to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, so we want to uh, welcome this couple. We are praying that they will speak about the glory. What do you think, Jesse? Yes, we can't wait. Uh, Dr. Michael, you think they're going to speak about the, God, the glory? Amen. We, we'll We're already in it. For them. <laughs> We're already in it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 So uh, we're just excited. You know, before... We switch over. I just want to say this. This morning, uh, in the early hours of the morning, I had a vision. And uh, I saw uh, demonic spirits on the earth. They looked like vicious animals, you know. And, and I saw them being drawn back out of the earth. And I saw with them the darkness leave. And then I heard the Lord say, today is a new day. There is a paradigm shift that has occurred today. And my glory has come to the earth today. There's going to be an explosion. Amen. So, and and uh, I, I sent that message to my church. And I said to them, hey, we're going to have Dr. David Hazard and his, and his wife, Stephanie, on the program. Amen. And what a coincidence. It is. Or is it? <laughs> Amen. So, uh, uh Dr. David Hazok, welcome. We are so glad to have Great. you here on our live feed in South Africa. And uh, we oh. want to welcome you and your beautiful thank wife, you. Stephanie. And we want to thank the Hughes family for uh, uh, inviting you and bringing you along and, and introducing us. And uh, as I said earlier, you are such a blessing. You're a hero to us. And uh, we just awesome. love uh, uh, having you on the program today, you know, something is about to happen. Mm. Amen. Amen. Something is about Amen. to happen. You know, go to yeah, yeah. My 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 technical guy. There we go. There we go. There we go. Something is about to happen. Amen. I, I, you, know, uh, you know, the glory just hit me now. Amen. All right. It just hit me now. Amen. Wow. Wow. This is going to be an, an egg. Oh, you know, people around the world are hungry, but not like Africa. Man, we are so hungry, we could eat you alive. We are hungry here. We are hungry. We are hungry. So welcome, Dr. David and Stephanie. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Hey. Thank you for having us. Ooh, I feel the glory all over Thank me you. already. You can yes. just keep preaching. I'll just receive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, man, hey, man. Wow. When you gave that vision, we could feel the presence, the glory. Oh, man. Amen. And it was my beautiful Stephanie, who also ministers powerfully in the glory of God and yes, signs I and wonders. And it's just we're happy to be here together early in the morning or, or in the morning here for us. <laughs> yeah. But the glory is strong. You know, we're in the 50 day portal between yes. Passover and Pentecost. Uh -huh. And worldwide, I think the greatest manifestation of God's glory is about to happen during this 50 days. Up Amen. until Pentecost, you're going to see a shift, acceleration, alignment. God's breaking oh, you, pruning yes, everybody. Yes. Just go through the cross. And then when you come out of this, a new glory, resurrection, power is coming. Amen. It's, it's awesome. Amen. Wow. Amen. Amen. You. You're, you're yeah. in the grave. You're coming out. Yeah. 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 Not you. Everybody. <laughs> amen. 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 You know, I saw 
I heard God so, so clearly say, this is a, a new day. There is a paradigm shift. Now, in South Africa, we just completed uh, sorry, 40 days mm. of lockdown yesterday. So today wow. is, the, is the 41 day. Mm. And as, mm. as, as, wow. as you know, you know, 40 is the day of uh, 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 dominion. dominion paradigm shift. Mm. And, and, and something has happened in the spiritual atmosphere. And uh, when I posted this, I had so many people who had this check in the spirit who got just excited and they started sharing it. So, Dr. David, I am going to stop talking because I have the gift of continuity. <laughs> Amen. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> right. so, uh, so I'm going to hand over to you. <laughs> by the way, by the way. Uh, I know you love surfing. I know you Lord, love surfing. Lord, Lord, Lord. Now, I live in Johannesburg, right? And I know you're coming to visit us. In Johannesburg, we have a beach, which is about three kilometers from my house. It's not, it's a, uh, what do they call it? Uh, artificial. It's an artificial beach, but you can surf there. They've got, they, if you go on that beach, one of the requirements is you must have a life jacket. That's how big the waves are. Huh. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. You know, you, 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 I know Durban's got good waves and Cape Town's got good waves. But Johannesburg, we've got the best artificial beach <laughs> in the world. <laughs> amen. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got to come and surf here. Amen. I know you love surfing. <laughs> Right. It sounds so. like you're bribing me. <laughs> of course I am. Of course I am. <laughs> Is it working? <laughs> right. <laughs> I want to come to. We, we want to come to South Africa, even with or without the waves. We still come. <laughs> amen. Oh, amen. That's amen. Can you so, hear me? So, so yeah, so, we love we love the glory. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. How can you? yeah. Hello? You, said, you said you loved it. Oh, yeah. Well, I want to thank again Michael Michael and his son, Dr. Michael and his son, for connecting us because yes. without these guys in Hawaii, we mm. might not have been connected like this. So he kept mentioning you. At, we were at his house in March. We, we were there. We went to the beach far away. Like we drove 40, 30 minutes, went to a private beach. We come out of the parking lot, and his son, Michael, and he says, Wait, I know you. Are you David Herzog? Oh, my gosh. What are you doing here? <laughs> and then we and I said, "Where's your dad? Let's go to the house." And we just—it was a divine appointment in March. Right. We hadn't seen each other in a few years. Right. In the parking lot, we see Michael. He takes us to the house. We, right. we see the family. We have have a meal together. We spent the whole night together. Wow! Isn't that amazing? Amen. Amen. So that's how, yeah. that's how we connect. So everything's supernatural to glory. Yes. But um. So yeah. So you want me to talk about the glory, and then we'll we'll just go back and forth, but. You know, I have to give honor to Ruth Heflin was a woman of God. Uh, mm -hmm. She was her name was Ruth Ward Heflin. She was a prophetess, mm -hmm. very powerful. She lived in Jerusalem for many years. The president, Clinton, the Pentagon. She would have a suitcase by her by her bedside and or by her door. And I said, "What's the suitcase for?" And she'd tell me, "Oh, sometimes I wake up in the morning and and she, and uh, she was living in Virginia at the time. And she said, sometimes I wake up and God might tell me to go to the king of this country." or the president of this country. So I just ready. So sometimes she wake up and God says, oh, after your coffee, go to the airport and fly to Ethiopia and talk to the president. I mean, crazy things like this. And nobody knew her, but she would supernaturally just get in these doors. And so she was really the influence in our life. And then we got invited to speak with her and her became friends with her. She became like a mother. So there's always someone in your life that kind of mentors you yeah. and helps you. And I want that to kind of be understood that, that like Elisha had an Elijah, Mm -hmm. And we need to learn from each other. And, and when we do that, and even when, when we've received something, we still should always, you know, we learn from each other. We, you know, we, we, we grab, everyone has a piece. Not, and I know the introduction you gave me, I, I almost felt like, oh my gosh, now I have to try to live up to that. You know, <laughs> 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 you gave me such a big introduction. I, I'm thinking, how am I going to live up to that? No. But, uh, <laughs> but Ruth Heffern was, a, was a, you know, no. but Ruth Heffern was a real inspiration in our life. And then when she passed away, we felt like we received a double portion of something that she carried. Stephanie had a dream of her, and she was dancing with her. And, and we, then we found out she had died. We didn't even know. So, wow. But in this if now, many of the people watching are going to receive an impartation because a lot of the men of God that have passed, Ruth Hepburn, 
um, and Or Roberts, Billy Graham, some of them, some are more like faith guys, healing guys, glory guys, evangelist guys. They've all been passing. And so this is really the passing of the torch yes. to this mm -hmm. generation. Mm -hmm. All the greats you read about, Catherine Kuhlman and the Billy Grahams and um, Charles Finney and all those guys, Smith Wigglesworth, those mantles are being released in mass right now for this last decade. So these 10 years, wow. mm -hmm. it's going to be great glory, but it's glory for the harvest. It's the harvest of souls. Yes. So that's why, like, we just did a big event here, a stadium, 50,000 stadium in Phoenix, the first one to launch the, the decade of awakening. So it's time for big faith, big glory, signs and wonders. Well, what do you feel? Totally. I believe the, the shifting and the all these things happening is to prepare us for the fullness of God. I believe we're not just going to have a little taste of the glory, little drops of the glory. We're walking into the realm and time of Amen. the fullness of the glory of God. Amen. We're from the beginning of time up to now, the culmination of everything. That's the, that's the kind of glory we're going to be walking in. And God has to uh, prepare the people. That's why all these things are happening. I believe it's to open up the people's hearts so they can receive it. And sometimes hard times has that has a way of doing that to people mm -hmm. and so uh, it prunes things that are not of him you know everything that is not of him is being shaken right now so that the fullness of his glory can come in amen. so it's going to be awesome amen. some of you now are amen. feeling it as you're as you're on tv watching from africa and you said africa so open i saw as she was just talking africa like all these parts of the world we hear about revivals in the western world asia but Africa is about to, it's almost like God's reserved it in his quiver. He's someone saved the best for last. We've heard of yeah. past great moves in Africa, past great souls and crusades. But, and then we've heard it when I was younger, I used to hear about resurrections and all these things. And I know they still happen, but I think there's a new reputation that God's going to bring out of Africa. It's going to be known for something new. It's, when I went to Africa, we went to Africa, to Ivory Coast and different places, and when they saw the signs and wonders, they went crazy. Literally, the, the crowd control, the police had to push the people back, get us in a car, get us out for an hour and come back <laughs> on the stage because they thought they were gonna they thought they were gonna jump the stage and crash the whole stage. And I, I was shocked. I said, but they've seen resurrections, they've seen the paralyzed walking. But because there was new signs and wonders yeah. and there was a new glory attached to it, yes, it, they would create Muslims, like tons yeah. of Muslims got saved. During the offering, a Muslim lady, um, she she comes up. And says, can I have your microphone, please? In the middle of the crusade, I said, uh, no, no. And she goes, and the Lord told me, let her have the microphone. And I'm like, okay, I hope I'm hearing the Lord. And she starts off, I am a Muslim. I'm a Muslim. I'm like, she starts off, I am a Muslim. And the, the mosque was across the street. I was like, oh, my God. And she says, I was healed by your Jesus during the offering. No one could cure my back, incurable and surgeries, wow. nothing. And now I want to know Jesus. So she gets saved. So then the whole crowd gets saved. She was the evangelist. Then signs and wonders were breaking out, and all, all the signs oh. that you mentioned were happening. But it, it all it's all towards salvation, because yeah. we have to be careful not to make the sign and the wonder the main thing, exactly. mm -hmm. but the source. What's yeah. the source? Yes. glory of God is the source, yeah. Yeah. and Jesus yeah. is the king of glory. So it's all, it's all yeah. Jesus in the end. Because yeah. 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 So we got to get back to Jesus, and he's the glory, king of glory. He spent time with Jesus. And so this is going to happen. That was a microcosm. But what's going to—I think Africa is like it's reserved— for the end times glory. Even some of these the pandemics we hear about, Africa is not getting it so much as, as we're getting it like in Europe and other countries in the U.S. It's like something has been preserved in Africa for the end time harvest. It's something special. And it's South Africa specifically, because there's so many missionaries have gone there. I think you guys are in Antioch, not just for Africa, but for much of the world. Mm. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But I, I, even people watching are getting healed right now. Amen. 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 Dr. Michael, anytime you want to come in, you can walk up to come in. You know, in 1978, uh, what is it? Old Roberts had a TV show. He went on television. And um, yeah, uh, just before he, can, he could get onto the set, he was in his dressing room and he heard the Lord speak. And the Lord said, the next great revival is coming from Africa. Now, some people wow. have taken it. They said, well, you know, it's, it's come from a certain group of people. But in 1978, he said that on live TV. And uh, I believe uh, in Africa, we are hungry. We are hungry. 
we are militantly hungry for God. And, uh, and, and, and that's why even now, you know, as you are speaking, people are pulling on the supernatural. They, you know, as you're speaking, they're making a withdrawal. And some people are getting healed right now as you are speaking. Yeah, sure, sure. You know, you spoke yeah, about sure, a spine. Sure. I saw someone with spondylosis and I saw the spondylosis healed. Amen. As you were speaking Amen. about the spine. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Wow. You know, there's miracles taking place right now. So keep yeah. speaking. You you go ahead. You keep speaking. You have about four hours. So you have to speak for oh, four no. hours. <laughs> now I know I'm in Africa. In, Amer in America, if you go four hours, it'll be empty, you know. <laughs> Go for they're, it. They're all at the restaurant after. Then you preach. The, but um, yeah, if you're re watching right now, raise your hand and receive the presence oh, of God's glory Jesus. and receive a miracle. Jesus. Even right now as we're talking, Jesus. we don't need that three-hour sermon to get a miracle. Mm -hmm. God can just do it right now in the atmosphere. Yes. Yeah. Lord, your glory is all over the world global right now. Your, your glory is greater than the virus. It spreads faster, yes. more powerful. Lord, your cure is more powerful. I pray for masses of people being healed of yes, every disease, yes, incurable disease, cancers, deaf ears opening, blind eyes opening, signs and wonders, Father, like we were talking about, new teeth, gold teeth, weight loss miracles. Lord, we've even seen tattoos disappear off people. Lord, I just declare Thank you. that your glory would come with signs, wonders, healings, miracles following. Jesus. That unsaved, those who don't know you, Jesus, would be radically touched by your power right now by your glory deliverances i see mass deliverances but i thank you for masses of demons to come out of people now tormenting spirits sickness witchcraft go in jesus name i even see there's a government person watching in some government in africa i don't know if you're the, the lead president or one of the cabinet members but you're watching right now and god's touching you and you have to make a decision and god's saying do what you know is right don't do what you're pressured to do don't do what your flesh wants do what you know is right, and God says, then I will promote you. I will promote you. Yeah. Don't do it yourself. So that's a word for one of the leaders watching from mm -hmm. Africa. Praise the Lord. Amen. Anyway, yeah, wow. check your teeth. Thank if you're missing teeth, grandmas with no teeth, Jesus. and the teeth wow. pop in their mouth. Mm -hmm. Or even a young person with no teeth, they got in a fight. So, Lord, we just pray for those. You know, grandma talk like this. I'm a grandma. <laughs> But God put new teeth in her mouth Amen. in the name of Jesus right now. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. People even growing taller, we're seeing. People yes. growing taller, like you're too short. Because something happened, you, your growth was stunted, or something. We just declare growth Amen. right now. And, you know, in Asia, that's a real popular sign to wonder when we go there. Maybe Africa, they're already called. We just thank you, Father God, for growth. We were, we were in Jerusalem, and we had someone grow like, like a, almost like a foot. Two people grew like a foot taller in, in Jerusalem in a big meeting with thousands of people. And then the security guards in Israel asked me, hey, can you pray for us for other things? I thought I was in trouble. They said, we need to talk to you, please. You know, they got machine guns and... And then and they look around, can you pray for us? <laughs> Jewish, Jewish guys. And I says, Jesus, Yeshua. They go, yeah, we, 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 it's good. We don't mind. We saw the miracle. We know it's real. So most people just want to know it's real and, and want to be in the... Now, what some of you are watching and <clears throat> saying, how do I do? You have to get into the higher dimension of God's presence. Mm -hmm. It's not just doing. A lot of people, they preach on healing for an hour. They line everybody up and then lay hands on each one. Mm -hmm. But if you're talking to 5,000 people or 10,000... I mean, that's going to take you three days. To, and so God can do it faster. If you go to heaven, you're healed instantly because of heaven, the atmosphere. If heaven comes down and you live in a heavenly glory, masses of people can be healed in a short amount of time or miracles or signs without having to. So a lot of times well, we do mechanical, it's a mechanical way that we saw someone else do. <clears throat> Talk about why he wants to heal. It's his will to heal. It's just not bad to do that. But, but there's other ways that can be faster. And then... Then they'll lay hands on each one, and it just takes forever, and it's a one-man show sometimes. But God's glory, then others train others. Okay, go to the crowd and lay hands on people. You have teams and, and, and people. But there's another way yeah. where Short Jesus time. just shows up, and it says, and all were healed. Didn't say lay hands on them all. just says, and they were all healed. Yeah. Or Peter's Amen. shadow walking down the street. There was just walking down the street singing. No, I'm kidding. But he was walking down the street, and the shadow began to heal the people on the streets. So how do you do? It's not about doing. It's about going, mm. being higher in the presence, mm. glory, worship, praise, fasting, holiness, whatever it takes to get there, just and, and waiting on him. And when you get a fresh touch of a greater glory and you go back out, it's the wow. difference between Acts 2 and Acts 4. Acts 2, people were added to the church. Mm. Then they had another visitation. When they went out, people were multiplied to the church. Yeah. Acts 2, they laid hands. Mm. Acts 4. They didn't have to lay hands. Oh, they weren't limited to laying hands. We always lay hands, but we're not limited. Mm -hmm. Signs and wonders also came. 
Acts 2, they were probably broke, as most Christians are. Acts 4, not one lacked anything among them. Amen. Acts 2, Amen. they mock the church, as they do most of the time in most countries. They mock on, on Saturday Night Live and sh comedy Amen. shows. Acts 4, they didn't mock. They feared to join them. This is what's coming on the church after the shutdown, a new holy respect of the power of God and glory of God in God's people. Mm. So there's a shift, huge shift coming. And, and if you're watching with me, just say shift. 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 Say shift. this, shift happens. Shift, shift happens. Shift happens. God is good. God's breaking, God's, breaking, God's, breaking, God's, breaking, God's breaking religious spirits as we're talking. Now, now if, if you misspelled that when you said it, that's not my fault. <laughs> There's a big shift happening. Especially if you're thinking about notes. <laughs> <laughs> and Lord, I just pray joy to come on people yeah. right now. Joy to come on people that are like, yeah. that are maybe yeah. heavy. This is a holy shift. Joy, it. Father. Oh, no. This is a holy yeah. shift. Yeah. Amen. Holy shift. Amen. Come on, Amen. people in Jesus' name. Yeah. Glory, Lord God. Hallelujah. Glory, Lord. Lord, 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 get Michael and Michael. It sounds like a law. They look like a, they look like they look like a law firm. Michael and Michael. You have an accident, call us. Michael and Michael, touch him, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you. Lord. Michael and Michael Amen. brothers. Amen. Law firm. I only handle multi-million dollar estates for the kingdom. <laughs> and, I, and I celebrate my birthday up to six months before and after my birthday every day. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so, God is good, man. I see someone's teeth is someone's upper teeth are being healed right now. They're, they're chips, Amen. and God's growing back the teeth. So if you get a miracle, please, you know, go in the chat room so he, so Dr. Siva yeah. can know, yes. and, and and or Michael Hughes or us, let us know that you got a miracle, yeah. or you got. And really quick, if you're, I'm just going to cut it like right here. If you're not saved, just pray this prayer right now, because some people log off Amen. for 15, 20 minutes and they're gone. So we'll just do this a few times. Yes. Just say if you're not, you want to know Jesus personally. Amen. Just say Jesus, forgive me of my Jesus. sin. Forgive Wash me of my sin. Dr. Michael's going to get saved again. Wash you with your blood. Yeah. <laughs> Wash me in your blood. Thank you, Jesus. Cleanse me, Lord. Cleanse, Cleanse me, Lord. I believe you died on the cross. I believe you died on the cross. For my sins. For my sins. I believe you were buried and resurrected. I believe you were buried and resurrected. Come in my life. Come, Come in my life. life. Set me free. Set, Set me free. free. I live for you now, Jesus. I live, I live for, for you, you now, Jesus. Jesus. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. And break every chain off my life. And break, break every chain, chain off my life. my life. I will worship Jesus and no other gods. I, will I worship Jesus, Jesus and no other gods. No other gods. Amen. 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 And I can feel the presence. Even if you are atheist, a Muslim, a religious Christian, but not relationship, a Hindu. It doesn't matter the title that you were. Gay, straight, uh, Democrat, Republican, or whatever, political. It doesn't matter. You red and yellow, black and white. They're all precious in the sight. But Jesus died for every soul to be saved. So invite him in your life, and Jesus. you're going to have a huge, you know, the, even the emptiness will be filled. Like, that's the Amen. best, Amen. the best thing Amen. salvation, you know. Amen. He's the king of glory. Amen. And um, so I don't know what you want to talk about. Like, God can do crazy things. Like, you said you were translated, right? Yeah. So when you get translated, I, I get translated every time I preach in another country. I speak English, and they translate me into another language. <laughs> so I, so I, I've been translated hundreds Amen. of times, but, but, or thousands of times. But besides that, I've been we, we, Stephanie and I have been translated share together. With share with us. In, in, yeah, so in, individually I've been, and then traveling together I've been. Um, traveling together, we were in New Zealand actually mm -hmm. one time, and we were trying to get to the meeting, and all these sheep crossed the road on this little little road, country road, and we're like, oh, man, we're going to be late. We're like, an, we're going to be an hour late. And this, this, the sheep are just... Man, you know, there's no dog there to even, mm -hmm. and we pray, oh God, God, do something. And finally, the little dogs came and barked at the sheep, and and we were like, oh man, we're gonna be. We calculated one hour late. We have one more hour to go. We're gonna be hour late. We were there in 15 minutes. Supernatural yeah. transportation. Mm -hmm. Another time we were France. The, France. It was an eight-hour trip across the furthest right. east to the furthest west. Right. No, west to east, and we made it an mm -hmm. hour and a half, just singing and worshiping in our car. And an hour and a half, we were on. A, we were there six, seven to eight hours, and God bends the time continuum when you're in the heavy glory. He bends time. So, like, like if you're like here, if you're starting here, here's my Bible. You're driving from here to here. Linear. Linear, right? So this is eight hours. <clears throat> but you start worshiping in your car, you get in the presence of God. The glory is timeless. It comes on your car, it collapses. Mm -hmm. God bends point A and point B, starts to collapse, 
into the same location. Wow. So God bends time, even on your prayers that you're praying for, mm. things that take 20 years, <clears throat> physical body, miracle, losing weight. Wow. When people try to lose weight. Mm. It could take them years, months, and in a split second, mm. we see people lose 70 pounds, Thank 50 you, pounds. So God, in the glory, can accelerate your prayers that you're praying yeah. for for years suddenly. Mm. You just study the word suddenly, and suddenly the Lord came. Suddenly I saw a vision, and suddenly there was an earthquake. As you're in the glory, the suddenly start happening a lot faster mm -hmm. in the glory. Does that make sense? Yes. Amen. Wow. Tell me, when you experience the glory, by the way, there's a whole lot of people that are sending us uh, mm -hmm. messages on our chat stream. So I'm monitoring the chat stream while I'm talking to you. And people are talking about uh, they're experiencing the power of God, the fire of God in their house. And, uh, wow. and, and more and more people are telling us what's happening to them. And those of you who are also getting healed and touched, even while we're speaking, you're going to get healed, you're yeah. going to get touched. So please uh, send us uh, on any on the streams we, that you're watching us on, because we're monitoring all of the chat streams. We, by the way, we are on uh, 12 different uh, streams. We are on uh, four different Facebook streams. We are on uh, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. Uh, what is it? Wow. Yeah. Uh, you know, an emotion, I don't know, so many <laughs> new places. <laughs> but we're in all of them, and we're monitoring all of the chats. They, all of them are coming back to us, so we are, we are, so even if you post any one of them, we are reading, we are reading it right here, and it's just awesome. It's just awesome. Uh, we've got, I think, uh, at the moment, we've, we, we, we've got about, uh, let me see, about, uh, our in connections, we've got something like 10,000 live connections. Now, you take each All connection right. and you multiply it by approximately four. So that's the amount of people that are watching wow. us live at the moment. Amen. Uh, wow. Bulk of them are in Africa, but there are people from all over the world, all over the world that's watching us. And, they wow. sit and they're talking about the presence of God in their homes and things like that. So, uh, Dr. David, tell me, you, I, I love the insight you have into what happens when the glory comes, right? Uh, I remember reading in your book, in the mysteries of the glory, and uh, how uh, sickness disintegrates, and the body reshapes itself, right, and, and comes back in order again. Maybe share a little bit about that, and tell us also what was the most extraordinary thing that happened in your ministry? I mean, something that, I mean, I get shocked all the time, but there's some stuff that's, oh my God, I, how is this possible? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, so, so the, okay, you want to hear extraordinary miracles? And what was the first thing you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. What, what, what was the first thing you want to hear? Miracles? And what was the first one? Oh, the, before that, I want to know about the mechanics of the glory dimension. Mm. Because you know, uh, as okay, I yeah. to you, you're the expert there. So, what happens <laughs> to a person in the glory? Because a lot of okay. people so understand depends. the anointing, yeah. but I, we want to yeah, know yeah, about yeah. the glory, right? Sure. So, okay. So, anointing, I always explain like this it's like a battery of your laptop computer. You got to charge it for a couple hours. You pray, you do what right. you do, then you go out and you minister. Most ministers and people on outreaches, even mm -hmm. you go out. And after a few hours of praying and casting out demons and whatever you do, you feel a drain. You feel like, wow, I, spiritually, I feel depleted. Mm -hmm. And you have to run back to your hotel and pray. You're like, I'm done, right? I, I, get me out of here. But in the glory, you're not pulling it from your battery. The battery is the anointing. So you mm -hmm. charge it up. You go. So then it ends, right? It's like, oh, I'm empty. I got to go. Or oh, I have no more prophetic words. I, I don't feel any more strength to pray for the sick. But when you're tapped into the glory, you're not pulling from the battery. It's like your computer's plugged into the wall the entire time, charging wow, your battery. That's good. So mm. the, here's the difference I found. Mm. In the old days, I'd prepare a few days or a week, whatever. I, I'd prepare myself, fast pray with the word. Then I'd preach, really powerful. And then many great things would happen, and then I'd be exhausted. Mm. So most pastors, that's why their, their, their day off is Monday, right? Because it's Sunday they were wiped out. Yeah. But I started shifting when I got in the glory. Suddenly, I would I could pre I could be on the stage from seven to eleven, and not be able to sleep till four in the morning because my body is so mm. um, hyper and revved up. Even this week, we were doing a fast and we couldn't I couldn't sleep till six a.m. because my body was so so. So Catherine Coleman can only sleep four hours a night. It's not good. You have to make up for it. But the point it's good. It's not good. The point is, 
when you're in the glory realm, it, even your the molecular structure of your body starts to change. Right. The molecules Amen. in your body start to change. And so one of the things, and the, the anointing is different, it's people call glory anointing. It's not the same. Yeah. Just because you push someone to the floor doesn't mean you have even anointing. It just means you push them. That's called, that's called gravity. <laughs> so gravity Amen. is when you push an object, it falls. Okay, that's gravity. <laughs> then there's anointing where you pray and the power of God hits them. And, and then there's glory where anointing is coming from inside you. You're you're laying hands, and you're like, mm. right. You, you know, you're praying, you feel a, a virtue come out of you. Glory is you're you're raising your hands to heaven, and God's hand is reaching out and touching the people, and you didn't even touch them. That's the next dimension. Amen. Yes. Not dementia. D it's dementia good. is when the truths are talking back to you. <laughs> so not dementia. Dimensions is a different. Check yes. the medication. That's the only way you know yeah, the difference. Yeah. So, so the glory of God is <laughs> coming from outside, but you're you're connecting to heaven's glory. Mm -hmm. Versus praying, because you could be in a meeting and watch a guy do word of knowledge, healing, deliverance, but not feel the presence of God at all in the room. Mm -hmm. And you're like, yeah, why? I see God's using this guy, but I don't feel God's in the room. Have you ever had that happen where you see this? Mm -hmm. It's because they're operating on a gift only or anointing only. So when you're maybe around the ministry, you might send something, but not in the room. Glory is you want it to fill the whole atmosphere. So the guy in the wow. very, very back of the crusade yeah. or the church can be healed mm -hmm. and touched mm -hmm. or on the streets, yeah. mm -hmm. not just if they come up to you. So the old yeah. model is the man of power for the hour. Mm -hmm. They must go to you, the man of God, which Africa is mm -hmm. very big on that. Mm -hmm. It is good in one way, one season, but it's shifting now mm -hmm. where it's not about the man of God. It's about God, the God of God. Of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to reach them. Through yeah. Exactly. So, so that's, that's where the shift happens. And in the last days, he wants to use everybody. It's not yeah. just one man, one woman. You know, it's like a movie, one man, one mission, you know, to save the world. But no, he, he wants to, he almost wants us to be like, sometimes we feel like a spectator in our own meetings because mm. God just takes over. And we're like, well, he doesn't need me here. I'm just here watching mm. things are people going crazy. Things are happening. And I'm like, what am I doing here? So I, I like it when he does that, when you lose total control, but God takes over. Mm. So another thing is control. We have to let go of control. Yeah. Mm. So people are so controlled and programmed that they don't know how. To mm. flow like years ago, I used to have t all these notes, and I would try to go through all my notes and preach. And God would purposely make me lose my notes. It disappears from the computer. I mean, completely. I get up there. Oh my God, Lord! I don't remember anything. He goes, "Good, trust me." And I would just go by the Spirit, and more. God would do so much more than me trying to go by my notes. Mm. That's a Western mindset. Like we should study, show ourselves approved, but not just study for our sermon. Study just to be in God. And then when you get up there, whatever comes out is out. You know, it's, it's when you walk down the street and you see a guy and you want to preach to him or share the gospel, you don't say, let me get my notes. You just, whatever, <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's, that's a shift. But, yeah. the, but the glory, how, how do you get the mechanics? Okay. Yeah. Worship, praise and worship. Praise is the fast breakthrough songs. Mm -hmm. You guys are good at that in Africa. Mm -hmm. And worship is the slow, mm -hmm. intimate. And then in California, they're real good at that. They're just like soaking kind of. But mm -hmm. praise first is breakthrough, and then the slow worship brings the glory, mm -hmm. holiness, repentance, which is really big right now. God's really pushing people in the church to Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people, okay, call by my name. Yeah. So repentance, holiness. Then there's um, fasting and praying, and the Africans are really good at fasting. I mean, really good. Yeah. They're, they're, you guys are experts at it. But when you fast, it's basically you don't eat while you pray. Americans are expert at creating different kinds of fast. While still eating, I don't know how they do it. They, you know, like, like fast football games. And then they say, "I'm going to fast football games after football season." I'm going to fast yeah, coffee. I'm, I'm going to fast. No, coffee. I see this. I'm going to fast talking against my pastor for three weeks. Wow, what a, what a great <laughs> fast! I mean, you should do that anyway. You know, like I'm not going to criticize. I'm going to fast criticizing people for two weeks. Okay, wow, well, it'll be a sacrifice, but I think I can do it. You know, fast coffee. Yeah, what I what I do is. The secret to my ministry is I fast five times a day in between my four meals. It's really amazing. Amen. So in between my, <laughs> yeah. and, and every night I do Esther fast and I don't brag. And God gave me the grace to not eat or drink while I'm sleeping. And when I wake up and break fast, it's like incredible. No, I'm kidding. But we do fast. We, we do fast. Dry right. Esther fast all night. Well, you know, Amen. but, but fasting, yeah. worship, holiness. Giving is important, too. A lot of people have abused the giving thing, so some people don't want to hear about giving. But we were missionaries. We were living overseas, and God started challenging me. I said, Lord, I, I want this Acts 4 glory. I, I have Acts 2, but I want the Acts 4, the greater. And then, he, and I said, Lord, okay, I'll fast and pray. I'll repent. I'll, I'll worship you for six hours if you want. And one day he said to me, but give me a sacrifice. 
I go, what do you mean? I already gave my life. I'm on the mission field. Mm. He said, and I had just got a car. And God said, would you give me that car? Oh, I thought, I thought like symbolically, yes, Lord, the car's yours. Mm. And I, I, it's yours. I'm driving it, but it's the company car. Mm. And he says, yeah, will you give it away to the pastor on Sunday morning while you're preaching? What? Then I started going after. I rebuke you, I devil. Like, yes. Yeah, I started rebuking devils. And then the Lord said, you tried it. And this is one This is one spirit I could not cast out. I wasn't as, I wasn't powerful enough. And, and what? I was trying to cast out the most powerful spirit ever. It's God himself. And he said, hello, it's me. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I repent. And I said, I said, but Lord, it's a very expensive sermon. Anyway, the point was, he showed me Acts chapter 4. Yeah. It says, Acts chapter 4, they gave homes and land. Mm. At the feet of the apostles, there was a sacrifice connected to this next move. Mm. And I think right now we're in that. A lot of people are sacrificing to push into the next move. Yeah. So, so so fasting, prayer, holiness, worship, but sacrifice is an element of sacrifice mm. that has to come in for the next thing. So we, I gave mm. the car. The mm. glory exploded in the church. Mm. After I came back, the Lord said, now I can trust you. If I can trust you with material wealth, yeah. I can trust you with heavenly riches. Mm -hmm. Now, again, wow. I know a lot of American preachers have abused this, even in Africa. They abuse the money thing, and, 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 it's, and it grieves the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And because they've abused it, no one wants to hear the right way, like Elijah did it. Mm -hmm. Get it? You're, you're, you're not doing it to try, just try to get rich or something. You're just mm -hmm. trying to obey. God yeah. says, give your car. Yes. Give the car. God said, now I can trust you. Within weeks, my ministry exploded. Suddenly, I was on, I was on TV. We had president. We had going to governments. I had our first resurrections. This is 1999. Everything started exploding because he could trust me with material. And he gave me two cars. I didn't need to. So I gave another car away. Then he gave us a property. I mean, it just kept going. It's like you use it as a tool to get to the higher glory. And then God keeps trusting you more. And then you keep blessing. You don't hoard it. And you don't try to... You know, most of the time, Steph and I are on the road anyway. So we're not living for material things. We're, we're, but it's not wrong to be blessed, but it's wrong to try to use the blessing, the promises only to be blessed. Mm -hmm. Seek first his kingdom, souls, mm -hmm. end times, his righteousness. Mm -hmm. Then these things will be added. But when they're added, don't just park at the, at the, at the, at the blessings and go, oh, I'm just going to stay here mm -hmm. in my nice house. Amen. I won't travel anymore, you know, or whatever. Like, use the blessings as a tool for, to advance God's kingdom, mm -hmm. and he'll keep blessing you. Amen. You know, so while you're talking, you that? Yeah. Yeah. while you're talking, I, I, I just hear the Holy Spirit say <laughs> that the joy of the Lord is coming into your home right now. It's coming on both Amen. of you. It's coming into your home right Amen. now. Dr. Michael, get ready there as well. I, I, you know, uh, while this man of God is speaking, the, the presence of God is just uh, hitting me over here. <laughs> and I, I'm trying to hold myself <laughs> inside. <laughs> but I, I just sense the glory of God and the, and the joy of God. Filling your mm -hmm. home right now, amen. 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 It's right, right, your home right now, <coughs> and, and, and this is the grace that, that God's brought to both of you. Uh, I thank you to Jesus. You know, God says to tell you there is a new mm -hmm. season of the glory over your ministry, amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 God has erased you up in lots of uh, signs, wonders, and, and, and creative miracles. And, and those creative miracles will still continue. But God is using you now as a voice to usher in the glory. And when we talk now about the glory, we're talking about it on a global scale. And I, I just hear God say that to you. Amen. So he's taking you into places where normally uh, many uh, uh, ministers can't get into. But when you get into that place, and, and, and you're, in that at, you're in that place, the atmosphere will descend. That's what God wow. says to tell you. The atmosphere wow. will descend. The presence of heaven will come in there. And, and God's using you like a torch in those dark areas. He's using you in here as a torch now in these end times. Because, you know, well, the Bible says the, in the last days, the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory. The knowledge of the glory. Yeah. Amen. So God's, you know, all the things that he's been showing you, setting you up in, that's been the, the, the training ground. Now, there's a, you, you're going to package this and you're bringing it to the nations. Therefore, God is taking you before. Uh, I also see, he, see you take him. I see 
him take you before uh, uh, religious leaders and churches that were closed before. Right? They were closed before. They would not allow this inside. You know, they would shun on you. But when you get there, and, and sometimes they might not even bring you because, you know, they don't want a crazy guy. They just want you to minister or pray for the sick, whatever. But the moment you start speaking, God says, my glory will fill the place and it shall stay in that environment, changing lives, causing people to turn and fall in love with me. Oh, Rabba Sata Rabba Shikara Baba Baba. I just see, I see God. Oh, Rebo Sita Rabba Shikara Baba Baba Soto Roba Hande. You you want to Kuraba Sita Rabba Boshikara Bahande? While you were talking, I just saw all the Old Testament prophets involved in the glory. I'm seeing Habakkuk, Ezekiel. And then into the New Testament, I see Thessalonians and Titus. I see God taking you from the old into the new. He says, you are in my end time glory. You will reveal who I am mm -hmm. to the whole world. Mm -hmm. And pastor, I just see someone's hair. It's a female with long black hair from the scalp. Um, just being covered in gold. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Mm. Mm. I see people in the villages, like you said, an old woman. I'm seeing an old woman. She's carrying a basket on her shoulder. Um, her sari covers her head. And, and these people don't know Jesus. But God's going to take wow. you there. And you're going to speak wow. the word out of the Wait. mouth of the living God, you're going to speak his word verbatim. And they're going to see God for the first time. Um, it's the 1040 window. You've never been there before. But God says, I'm going to take you there. And you're going to reveal me to them. Because no one has told them about me yet. But I'm going to take you there. I'm going to take your wife there. And you're going to minister to them. And they are going to be saved. Wow. Praise the Lord. I receive it. Amen. 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 You know, there's been a, wow. a slowing down period. And I'm talking about recently. Yeah. A slowing down period. And God says, uh, in this time where uh, you are not, you, you know, you, you've been busy doing your own stuff, but you are not so much in the limelight like you used to be before. And you, but you were doing your own stuff, you know, you're doing your own conferences and so on. But you were not in that limelight and, 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 you, and you thought, hey, you know what, maybe this is a phase and, uh, 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 you know, and, or, or, or maybe God is doing something new. But God says in that time, it was an incubation period. Everything he had put inside you, it was just incubating inside your spirit. And God is now, in this time, in the season now, He's putting you on a stage where as you speak, the moment you get to that mic, the, his glory will be seen. I know you've, you've, you've ventured out into other parts of the ministry. You've ventured out into other, other uh, areas in, 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 in the gospel. But you were born to bring God's glory to the nation. That is your purpose. Mm. And so in this incubation period, you know, David was called in the Bible. He then had an incubation period. And then Saul died and David became king. Wow. This is the period of transition where God is putting you there where, you, where he wants wow. you to be. You're going to find that a, a lot of people are going to start calling you, some whole friends as well. Amen. I, I'm sorry, I'm just saying what God is telling me right now. Some yeah. old friends are going to start calling you. Uh, you're going to get back onto Sid Roth quite, quite often, by the way. Amen. Uh, uh, they're going to want to know more and more about the glory. Amen. That's going to become a buzzword. Everybody wants to know more and more about the glory. 
And whenever <laughs> God gives you a platform, as he takes you before leaders, he takes you before the religious communities, as you speak, as you open your mouth, Thank the you. glory will fill that place. That's what God says wow. to tell you. Amen. You've mm -hmm. seen miracles. You've even seen creative miracles. But there's coming a time now, God says. You know, in the glory, we have, we'll first have uh, maybe uh, gold dust falling. Then, on a, then, then we'll have uh, people's teeth growing or, or supernatural hair, hair, hair growth or then weight loss. God's saying all the streams are combining and coming together in this time now. Amen. Wow. Hallelujah. Yes. Wow. Yes. Thank you. Very drunk Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You, you've been transformed to contain and then maintain the greater glory. Amen. You're moving from where you are into the greater glory. Mm. I see you as wow. Ezekiel, where God is calling you. You'll be, you'll be called um, to spend time with him and just with him. Mm. I see you lying down, mm. listening to the voice of God like, he, like Ezekiel did at the river. And, and I'm seeing you having visitations from heaven. I'm seeing the angelic coming, touching your mouth, giving you the words that you must speak in the countries that you're going. I'm seeing the numbers, the months, the dates. I see 31, I saw 36, I saw 24. All these numbers, God says, he's taking you, moving you into the greater glory. And ma'am, you are an awesome woman of God. You stand with your husband. You uplift him, you pray for him, you intercede for him. And God says, as you stand by his side, you are going to be that strength that he will draw from when I take him into my midst, when I take him up to heaven, and when I give him what I want him to speak, when I give him from my spirit, you will be there right at his side, spurring him on, covering him with the prayers that I will put inside your spirit, and you will pray and give him the strength because I'm going to take him to places he's never been before. Pastor, I see your Feet. You're walking on fire. I'm seeing you treading on serpents and cobras and every evil spirit that would try to rise up against you. And the Lord says, you are my voice for this end time. No one has seen my glory like they will see in your life and in the ministry I am placing you in. Thank you. Holy Spirit, thank you. I, I just wow. see uh, Pakistan written out. Amen. Have you been to Pakistan before? Thank you, Jesus. Not yet. Have you been? No, there? no, but I got it. No, but I got an invitation, and I'm supposed to go possibly end of October. So that's interesting. Wow. Right now, when you get to Pakistan, you will see a manifestation of all these things God is telling you. Amen. Because they're gonna wow. they're gonna put you on a stadium. They're gonna put you on a stadium, and 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 uh, there's gonna be a massive crowd there. You know, I'm just seeing this right now in the spirit. But this is where you will see the glory hit the people in Pakistan. Amen. And remember, at the end wow. of the day, the glory is bringing revival. Amen. There's going to be mass True. salvations. Amen. It comes from the glory. Mm. Amen. Wow. But this is the time now for the glory to arise. Amen. And, wow. and I you know we keep using the words glory. There's so much other stuff to talk about, but uh, I'm kind of stuck on that right now. <laughs> Trying to get away from it, yeah. but I'm stuck on it. <laughs> Amen. So, uh, 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 wow. wow! Praise God! Praise God! Praise God! Praise mm. God! Mm. And by the way, by the way, one more thing: when you are in Pakistan, you are going to meet the Pakistan Prime Minister. Wow! Meeting. Amen. So take a picture Amen. and send it back to me. Amen. Amen. Okay. Well. <laughs> Well, Amen. Wow. Amen. I, I just see I'm these blown away now. <laughs> wow. Well, that was one of the ones that we're supposed to go to. So that's a that's a confirmation. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. that's good. So we got to go for it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Well, we enjoyed this. We enjoyed this time of not traveling because in a way God uses it, like you say, as an incubator. We pull yeah. back. We have time to hear the Lord when you're home. Even though we've been super busy actually doing a lot of these call, Zoom calls and but in restructuring everything, yes. new staff, getting everything ready. For something big that's coming so we're feeling there's a shift coming 
And I think a lot of people are in that place where even ministers watching, you, you've been pulled back for a season, mm. but it's like an arrow. He pulls it back. The mm. more you let him stretch you, when he lets go, that's how much more thrust and acceleration you're going to have. Some ministers are trying to, during the lockdown, they're trying to do their own little thing because mm. they like they want to have their voice out there. And sometimes they're trying in the flesh uh, pre, pre, prematurely to pop up. And the Lord says, just yeah. lay low. If you lay low, I'll, I'll already raise you up. You go low. Go oh, low. He will. Don't try to just do something to do something because you feel like, well, I've not been doing much. It's locked down. I'm going to just try to do my own little thing. Don't do that. Just listen to God. Just be happy. You're safe. Yeah. Just enjoy Jesus for you. You know, enjoy it. And then when the right time is right, it, it's going to open. But I, we agree with that word. You know, there's a lot of things we could have done to try to promote ourselves or get on more things. And we just haven't. We just felt the Lord say, just I could easily get on all these different shows as much as I wanted to mm. or preaching or call people. Hey, you want me to come? I, we just don't do that. We just wait. We seek him. We fast. And we just, I'd rather pull back and be with Jesus than it'd be the wrong place at the wrong time mm. or the right place at the wrong time. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Or the wrong place at the right time. I don't know Amen. if there's a right time to be at a wrong place. But, <laughs> Amen. but man, Amen. I feel Amen. it. This is awesome. We are having such a blessed time here. <laughs> There's a wonderful presence of God. Now, we have two things. You need to tell us about the most craziest thing that oh, happened yeah, in the yeah. industry. Oh, yeah. And we need to hear your wife talk. You're doing, you know, yeah. we men are taking over over here. Like, you've got to let Stephanie yeah. talk. Yeah, I'll, I'll let her start. I'll let her start. You start. That's okay. crazy. Go start. Well, the craziest Thank things you, that Amen. we've seen is, um, yeah. I'll let it when God does something so supernatural that it, it blows the minds of people in the glory. Mm. And uh, when the glory start just began in our ministry and uh, we didn't know what, how to explain things to people because we were ourselves just, you know, um, learning. learning about it. And, uh, but I loved this, this cancer patient. She had, she's mm. done chemotherapy. So she had no more hair. Mm -hmm. She had a covering over her head mm. and, uh, then hair started growing and her, so she removed her covering mm -hmm. and when the glory was so strong she was believing for hair growth mm -hmm. and you could see in front of your eyes hair yeah we were watching it grow growing wow and, wow. and that to me wow. touches me because someone like that that's really like um mm -hmm. they're at the end of themselves and Thank you, Jesus. uh they just needed that encouragement, you know, wow, God loves me. He has not overlooked me, you know. And another time, um, we had a conference in Sedona, and and we had John Paul Jackson at that time mm -hmm. with us. And so they all spoke, and I, was, I had the last uh, meeting the last night. And I'm like, okay, everyone has been prophesied over. Everyone who's sick has been healed What's left God to do the last night? I said, God, please do something special for the people because I really want them to uh, leave with something mm -hmm. from heaven. Mm -hmm. So I was really contending with something special for the people. And at the last night, there were tourists in Sedona that came the last night. They've not been to any of the meetings. So it's their mm -hmm. first meeting. These two uh, old ladies, and uh, I called out a healing. I think it was her back. Mm -hmm. And her back got healed, so she came to testify, but she had, like, white hair. But as she was testifying, her white hair, in front of everybody, started turning to black. Wow. wow. While, was, wow. while she was wow. talking wow. about healing of her back, she didn't see her hair because there was no mirror, you know? She was not yeah. looking at herself. And, and I'm, like, looking at her while she's testifying, and I was seeing the hair changing color. It was just amazing. Wow. And then, um, and then... I'm like, uh, her girlfriend who came with her, her friend, um, can you come here and, and confirm that she had white hair before? And she said, yes. And was this her natural color? And just, no, she didn't. She, she uh, had white hair. Now it's turning to black. And then, but from that, all the signs and wonders popping everywhere, uh, the gold, um, everything turned to gold. Um, people with um, metals that are like, Fake yeah. metals or fake silver, fake jewelry, yeah. they all turn to bright gold. Even the wow. shirts, the blings, bling bling on the shirts, uh, the white stones, fake stones all over the shirt yeah. turn yeah. to yellow gold. Wow. Uh, people with fake uh, gemstones, uh, like purple gemstone bracelet, like a tennis yeah. bracelet, God turned the 
the bracelet to white di mm. diamonds, mm. from purple to white diamonds, and from fake silver wow. to yellow gold, and things like that. Wow. It was popping like Jeez. popcorn everywhere, and it was like the shoes. I mean, anything, anything, any material practically, God was transforming it to gold and to, to diamonds. Mm. And to me, that was so special. I was I started crying. It's like, oh, God, you, you saved the best for last. Like you wanted to give them something special that they can yeah. take with them, you know. And so I was blessed with that because um, God lets us know that he's no respect of persons, yeah. that if you really just press in and really it's for the people. God wants his glory to touch everyone. Yeah. And so uh, I believe this is the time that like what David was saying, it's no longer the season for the man of the hour or the woman for the hour. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the masses now. It's the nameless, faceless, and selfless on, that God is raising yeah. up. Yeah. You know, you don't have to be in the fivefold ministry. I think this is the time where God is raising up the sons and daughters of God yeah. Yeah, and full of his glory to manifest his glory all over the world. Yeah. And to just be, instead of like what he said of doing, having to do something, yeah. let's focus on just being a son of God, being the daughter of God, yeah. and mm. spend time in his presence mm. and be full of his glory. Mm. Everything else that you need will be found in the glory anyway. So if you need healing, there's healing in the glory. If you need more hair, you can get oh. more hair in the glory. If you need oh. weight loss, whatever, <laughs> sickness. <laughs> but Maybe. but I've been preaching this for many years. I've been preaching about the end times, uh, how God was going to do it, because mm. he's given me like a, a glimpse of the end times. Mm. And uh, I told, I've been telling people this, start declaring over your refrigerator over your cupboards in the name of jesus you're gonna be full of food you're not mm -hmm. we're not gonna run out of food you can mm -hmm. speak to your car you're not gonna run out of mm -hmm. gasoline you know when there's famine you're not gonna mm -hmm. be in lack because you're That's not good. limited to the world system you're not limited to the natural resources here but we have access to the supernatural yeah. resources from heaven and we just speak it and it can be created you know mm -hmm. we have that Power within us, the power of God to create things. And so if we have that faith to not be sick during this time, you know, to access the divine health, we shouldn't be always believing in, and uh, churches today is always like, oh, we're so sick, we need healing. But it has to come to the point where the sons and daughters of God are able to live Amen. in divine yeah. health. Yeah. Where we're not yeah. always sick and needing right. prayer, yeah. where we're the examples of this is what a yeah. son of God or a daughter of God looks like. Mm. We nothing can touch us, no, nothing can harm us because yes. we walk in divine mm. health. Amen. We have divine protection. Mm. His yeah. hand is on us, and no devil, no sickness, nothing can touch us. Amen. You know, and mm. and wow. we can have that supernatural peace as well during this times. Uh, people are lacking peace, and I believe in the glory you can find His peace. Totally. That's why when we, uh, I'm just so amazed that um, this time people say, "Oh, hard times changes people," mm -hmm. but I believe hard times don't change people. It just reveals what's inside. Yeah, it reveals true. what's it, it reveals what's already that's in fun. them. Yeah, and yeah, so. True. That's why during the good times, if you use the good times to be with God and mm. and to be one with His Word and mm. uh, focus on the being more than the doing, then when hard times come, that's what's going to come out of you. Yeah. You know, wow. but people always want to get close to God when the hard times mm. come. Yeah. But when good times are here, they they don't think of Jesus. They don't spend time with Him, or they don't read His Word. So when hard times come, like oh Jesus, help, help, help. Yeah. But how about when it's the good times? You're you're getting close to Him already. So the hard times come. It just the the Amen. the kingdom of God comes out of you. Amen. The glory of God just Amen. oozes out of you. Amen. His joy, His peace. Amen. I mean, during this time, Dave and I are having a great time. Yeah. We're not in fear. We're we're uh, mm. we're having closeness with God, closeness with each other. It's it's fun time. Uh, we're not panicking, but we feel for those who are f bound in fear. Mm. 
And I believe this is a time to overcome that fear. I always say, let's fix our eyes on Jesus. You know, when you fix your eyes on Jesus, you don't see all of these things happening in the left and in the right because mm. nothing moves us, nothing shakes mm. us because Amen. we're fixed on the immovable rock, Jesus, you know. Amen. And he's the king of glory. I always say, if you want the glory, it's not a sign and a wonder. Oh, I want the glory because I want more gold teeth. Or I want the glory because I want mm. supernatural mm. loss. Or I want gold dust or gemstone. I said, no, no, no. You're, you got to sign and wonder is the sign that leads you to the destination. The destination is a person, which is Jesus. Amen. The sign is not the destination. It's leading you to Jesus. Uh -huh. And you should not worship it. You should not idolize it. I tell uh -huh. people, don't promote your ministry just because you have gold dust now. It's not yeah. to promote yourself. Amen. Oh, look what I can do now. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah. In the glory, the more the glory yeah. increases, the more we must decrease. Amen. That's good. Wow. The more wow. the glory increases, the wow. more we become invisible. Yeah. Wow. Let that's, God that's be it. visible that's and it. we become invisible. Yeah. And, you know, to where when they leave a meeting, they don't, they don't, uh, in Stephanie's meeting, this happened. When the glory comes, all they're going to be talking about is Jesus. God, Jesus, Jesus mm. healed me, Jesus, because you're yes, promoting Jesus. You. You're, you're, you. you're drawing the people to Jesus, it's like you're you're the advertise, advertiser to, of Jesus. Amen. You're telling Amen. the world, Amen. this is what Amen. Jesus is. Amen. Oh, wow. This is, this is what Thank you, Jesus. And not both. The me, you know, the me, 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 the I, 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 iPhone, I, this, I, that. It's like ah. we, we have too much eyes. You gotta say, <laughs> God, Jesus, Amen. Jesus, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Now, uh, now, I know uh, who the preacher in the family is. I can see clearly <laughs> who the preacher in the family is. Amen? Amen? So have you been training David all these years? <laughs> no. Wow, that is so powerful. It's so powerful no. what you were saying. I just love what you were saying. Yeah. So how would you, uh, you know, for the people that are watching, how should their daily routine be? You know, I, I understand for every person it's unique, but what would you recommend for someone who, um, uh, they, you know, they, they were in church. Like, you know, David said, I remembered when we went to the rivers of uh, Babylon, but now they've been out of church. They've been away from their religious circle. And the only thing they get is CNN, right? <laughs> okay. At least we have Fox News here. Oh, yeah, we got Fox News. We, got Fox News. <laughs> we, try. we only get it on live stream, so we watch a live stream. But you get all yeah. this negativity right. coming out. So your faith is being bombarded because of negativity. Uh, yeah. You're not in that circle where, you're, where you can stir up your faith. You're not watching uh, or experiencing supernatural things whenever you're ministering. You're not hearing testimonies as much as you used to, things like that. Uh, and how, uh, how should someone get back to the place they need to be? How should someone build their faith? Uh, uh, how should they uh, proclamate the word of God? How should they declare things? And, and really uh, move into living supernaturally. How should sure. they live supernaturally? Right. What? Yeah. So we had to learn that. We had to learn that. Live, we lived in Paris. But like they don't know what's really, when France, my friends don't know anything about what's really going on. A lot of them, like even our elections here, they, they heard a complete different story. So, we had we, we decided when we lived in France, where we live, that's going to be the U.S. Embassy of glory. So the, it's a glory. So when we worship, we get in the glory. We, we get uh, Christian TV. You go on the internet. You, you have to force yourself to be in that realm and get fed by that. And then wherever you go, when I was in that realm, in mm -hmm. France, that time, I want you to do like Catherine Coleman, start doing big, big civic centers every three months. Do a big, 
Now that that big civic center, maybe once a year there would be a, a more Cirillo or a Benny Ham would come or something. Mm. Something. Maybe. I'm in this glory realm, living in this, and we started doing it, and people were getting miracles, crutches, healing, signs, wonders, and the pastors came to me and said, oh, no, no, France is not ready for this. France is 20 years in the future, maybe ready for this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I, Amen. This isn't ready for this yet. So, <laughs> when you, so you have to create almost your own bubble, and you can't use your main information, so... so like you say, if you just watch TV, yeah, Amen. live stream like like people watching now, yeah, yeah. testimony, preaching, get make that your yeah. thing, worship, fasting, the word, and maybe on your iPhone you can just see a few headlines of what's going on, just so you, you're updated, but not immerse yourself in five hours of TV of yeah. news, and, and and they're not, for instance, they're not even sharing the good news, they're not sharing the ones that got healed of a disease, they're just sharing how many deaths. They're only sharing the bad news, you know. Mm. So I think the key is when we lived in France, we decided we're going to live in our own bubble. Ninety-nine percent not not born again or Christian, mm -hmm. and we it, much more than South Africa. We had to create mm -hmm. and we had a base from in all signs of was while living in France. All mm -hmm. mysteries of the glory. When you read that book, all that right. was while we were living on the mission field in a wow. dark atheistic society, right. and yet. And that—that's this place. Spirit, we had that's where the glory started in our ministry. So we had, most people are spoon-fed, but I taught people you have to create your own well. You can't always rely on your church on Sunday that's morning good. or rely on Wednesday. It's not a church. It's, if a shutdown happens, well, like in China, all the pastors went to jail. I want to pray. So you, can, so you have to, and I say, like, I travel, right? Usually every week, I'm somewhere preaching around the world. Mm -hmm. So how do I get fed? How, how ministers like me get fed, or you, or you have a ministry, you have a church, you have, you don't, you know, like a head pastor of a big, bigger church. Yeah, you ask them, you know, people go, who, who, where do you get fed? Well, ask, ask, I ask that pastor, where do you get fed? Because, well, I'm the senior pastor, I'm the main guy preaching. Okay, so where are you getting your sword? It's the same thing. You have eventually you got to get it from Jesus. Whoever you're going to to get fed, where are they going to get from? Eventually, it's Jesus. So we have to start digging our own well, hearing for ourselves. Then you go to church. Usually, it's a confirmation. You're with God's people. It's an excitement. But we're not saying Lone Ranger. Don't don't cut off from God's people. But don't depend only on when you meet together to get your source. Because look at Paul the Apostle. He sought mm. the Lord, visitations while he was in jail. Mm. Uh, I mean, he, he couldn't rely only when he was in the meetings. So mm. I'd say the key actually is hunger. If you're desperately yeah. hungry, you're going to search out places to get fed. If you're lazy spiritually, you'll just watch CNN all day. You know, mm. and, th and then you have to undo it. And then you got to do deliverance on yourself after watching CNN. Yeah. <laughs> then you got to do self. And no one can cast a demon out of you because you're by yourself. So now you got to do self deliverance from, from CNN, you know. So, so yeah, it, so that's I don't know, but some people call CNN the the Clinton News Network. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, um, that. it, yeah it's, it's it, when I travel internationally, it's true. You only see like CNN or BBC. You have to really, you have to seek the Lord first of all. What's really happening? Yeah. When I watch the news, the Lord will tell me, okay, that's what what the video you're the video you're seeing is what happened. But the storyline they're telling is not the truth. Yeah. And I'll ask the Lord, and he will start showing me things. Mm. And it usually would always get confirmed later. Like, oh, mm. this story was wrong. This. So even mm. then, we can't be, you got to live in the glory realm, which is above yeah. the mind control of the earth system. Mm. you got to live in the, his mind. And so a lot of Christians are robots. They just, you know, the problem is, what if your pastor, what if some pastors are led astray? It says in the last days, many will be led astray. Mm. Mm. So what if what your pastor becomes one of those elect that, and then you just follow only what he says. Mm. That's what happened in the Catholic Church. Yeah. They weren't reading the Bible. Only the priest could read the Bible in Latin. Mm. So whatever the priest said, they believed it. Okay, there's a purgatory. Okay, they believed it. Oh, you got to pay to get your relatives out of purgatory or hell. Mm. Okay, they, they didn't know because they just blindly followed. Yeah. This mm. is the season you got to really know God for yourself. Mm. You, you, when you get to the judgment day, he's not going to say, what did your pastor preach? He's going to say, what did you do? What did you, you know, we're, so at the end of the day, we have to seek God for ourselves. Yeah. But Amen. the craziest miracle I saw, one of the craziest miracles I saw is uh, 
My wife wanted me to share this one. So, <laughs> I, didn't say and I was, hesi- I was hesitating. I was hesitating. I can blame for everything. No, no, Actually, she, she wants, she wants to share. She's just waiting for you to tell us. <laughs> okay. Well, no, it's not. It's kind of embarrassing. So, um, he may or he may not be okay. watching anyway. I, I was in Indonesia. Oh, he's not watching. I was in Indonesia. And they're in this big, in Jakarta, and they have a big, big church at, on the mall, like the third level. They literally take over the third level of the mall, like a big mall stores. They just the whole third level. You're shopping in the second floor, and you hear worship on the third floor. It's amazing. Mm. Thousands of people, and I'm preaching, and they're just looking at me like serious. And I'm, and I'm like preaching and glory, and they're not moving. And I said, this is weird. They don't seem like they're even saved. So I said to the translator, I whispered to him, is this a dead church or what? Oh, no, this is one of the most lively churches in, in Jakarta. But we advertise to the Muslims about the miracles. So th- these are mostly Muslims, these thousands that are here. Oh. What? Oh. oh, my gosh, that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm preaching about what God can do. I'm giving testimonies of what I've seen. Suddenly, three guys jump on the stage, and I thought they were like terrorists. They look like zombies, like, Ugh! yeah. And they're like, what the heck? So I just kept acting like I didn't see them, and I kept moving away from them. But eventually I hit the wall, and I couldn't go through the wall yet. So I said, said, translator, what are these guys? What's wrong with these guys? Why are they just jumping on the stage? Oh, those guys were in the wheelchairs. You see the empty wheelchairs. But this is not the miracle yet. This is not the one I would tell you. And they were, so they just, they didn't know, they didn't know when they should be healed. They just got up and got healed. And I was thinking, wow, that's so rude that they didn't get healed when I told them to be healed. They just, one guy got up, another guy got up, another guy got up. So we had a nice night like that, salvations and, they had so many miracle testimonies. Yeah. And then one guy came up and said, I go, what's your, t-? we had a, lot, a huge line of testimony. Create a, create a miracle. What happened to you? He goes, oh, I got a major create a miracle, but I don't want to share it because it's I kind know. of embarrassing. It's personal. personal. But, but you know, I just, he, he, he announces, I got a miracle, but I can't say it. So I say to him, well, you, you know, please, we want to hear. Oh, no, no, it's too private. I said, okay, at least tell the translator, because the Bible says, they, they whis- whisper in his ear. Declare the wonders. So, so he whispers in his ear, and the translator's like, wow. So, of course, I say to the translator, what? Just tell, I want to know what happened, you know. So he whispers it to me, and I was so amazed. I'd never seen that kind of miracle in my ministry, and I forgot it was private. And I, in the microphone, I said, this, ladies and gentlemen, this is what came out of my mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, and this is the first time I've seen this kind of miracle. This man's growing or testicles have been recreated. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it actually happened because he had something happen where he was he could see in miracle. that culture he's not gonna get married. <laughs> no, no, but for him, listen, he's not gonna have kids, he's not gonna get married. He, it's huge, it's huge. We, huge miracle. We laugh in the Western world, but for him it's his whole yeah. legacy, destiny. And, and and I said, ladies and gentlemen, this man's you know what has been recreated. Everyone's like, woo! And then he was I look at him, he was completely like <laughs> I think he had to change churches after that, but it's okay. Because <laughs> he, he got healed. So, so I mean, I've seen, I don't know which one's the most spectacular. No, I, I, the, last, the, the last one is Africa. We were in Africa one time, and I'm there about to preach a big uh, crusade outdoors in, in Gabon. I ministered to the vice president, prophesied to him, everything. We had, we had a, re, we had a, so I'm, I'm up there, and I'm preaching the first night, and the Lord says, oh, there's a lady here. She came from the hospital. Her daughter's dying. Oh, yeah. Announced to the people uh, asked if his lady's here. So I said, is there a lady here? You just came from the hospital. It's a big crowd. And one lady, yes, my daughter's dying. I said, okay, we're probably going to pray for her, you know. And the Lord tells me, oh, no, she's already dead. I want you to tell her she's dead. I said, I'm not, that's not the first night in Africa. You don't announce a death. <laughs> and I said, well, the Lord said, no, you have to do it. I said, Lord, I, that's, I, don't see, I don't see the point. He says, I'm not asking you to see the point. I'm asking you to obey me. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think that, no, he said, no, trust me. I mean, sometimes we want to argue with the Lord. He doesn't always tell you what's going to happen. So I said, okay, uh, ma'am, I'm sorry to tell you, but the Lord told me your daughter's already dead. And she goes wailing, no, and crying. And I'm like, oh, great. That's a great night to start off my thing in Africa. And then the Lord says, raise her from the dead. I said, but Lord, she's not even here. She's like in another city. Uh, and he says, he says, but you preach. There's no distance in my glory. And you've seen me do miracles wow. from a yeah. distance. Why yeah. can't I do resurrection from a distance? Uh-huh. I said, okay. So I said to the lady, which direction is the hospital? She points. I point. I say in the name of Jesus, spirit of that girl, come back in her body in Jesus' name. Uh-huh. And I do that for a little while. Then I continue the meeting. Uh-huh. She goes back. Sure enough, the doctor said, shortly after you left, she died. We covered her with the sheet. She was dead. She was tagged, dead. Mm-hmm. And at a certain hour, the hour we began praying, 
from the stage, her, her sheet began to move. They opened the sheet and she was back alive and they freaked wow. out. So that was the first time I seen resurrection from a distance. And, and so, and then that same crusade, uh, you know, like, oh, oh, this is good for Africa. Africa, they're big on de deliverance, right? Because there's a lot of stuff that happened. Mm. So I was in Africa, and the Lord said, I want you to do deliverance, but in my glory versus deliverance in the anointing. I said, mm. well, how does that work? Because, mm. you know, in the regular, it's come out. No. Yes. No. Don't touch the ring. <laughs> no. And then all of a sudden vomiting. <laughs> and then someone's got to clean it up and all this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So how do you do glory, which is heavenly angels signs and wonders oh your glory or come out now yes now i mean doesn't sound glorious right yeah. so he said i'll show you i get there <laughs> i, love I it. get there and this lady uh, this is before the movie Catwoman came out this lady comes up and she thought she was a cat she was possessed and she had big nails and she was trying to get the stage to get on the to scratch me and she was getting close to the stage and the bodyguards weren't stopping her because they were scared of her because it was just amazing because she had a strong, I guess, to them, a strong demonic spirit. Mm. And I mean, I, I'm American, so I wanted to joke, but it's not, I guess it's not a time to joke. I wanted to say, here, kitty, kitty. <laughs> but I didn't want to do that because it, would, it wouldn't be right at that moment. It just was the wrong place for, for that kind of joke at the moment. So I was like, no, I can't do that. So I, I'm, 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 I'm singing in the spirit as I start my meeting and the glory is falling. And I said, Lord, what do I do about Catwoman? And, and the cat woman's, and I've seen him, and he says, now command, you know, declare my glory, declare deliverance. Wow. And so I, I started singing and worshiping, and the glory got stronger and stronger. And then I could see angels in the, in the crowd. So I, I would point to where the angels were, and that side would go out. Hundreds of people just going out in the spirit on the floor, and mass deliverances were happening. Then I'd say, sing again. I would sing. There's no demons in the glory, just like there's no sickness in the glory. i point to another part. I said, I see angels over there. Well, they wouldn't wow. see them. They'd keep worshiping, and boom, they would get hit. Demons. And you could hear thousands, you know, just, Aah! and I'm saying, hallelujah, there's no demons in the glory. I'm singing with the worship, but in the background, you can hear, you know, like crazy. <laughs> and I wasn't going one-on-one, -on -one, come out, what's your name, what's your favorite color, uh, what's your favorite hobby. <laughs> you know, it wasn't like a, uh, like a resume or an interview for a job. I wasn't doing that kind of deliverance. And then the Catwoman literally got one foot on the, on the stage, like on, on the steps to the stage. And I said, oh, Lord, you got to do something quicker. Yeah. And the Lord said, you, have, you can do it two ways. You can do it in the regular anointing, right. how most people do, mm -hmm. or you can do it in my glory. So regular anointing would be in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I adjure thee, whatever that, whatever that means. <laughs> you get real theatrical. And then all the Africans love deliverance. They all jump on her like a football player with a, with a football. Ooh, ooh, and they, you know, that's what would have happened. But the whole meeting would then would have been about the demon. See, the, right. the demon would have got the attention. Yeah, yeah. And he said, or do it in my glory. I said, but Lord, I don't know how to do it in the glory. And he said to me, I'll show you, but which one do you want to do? I said, I want to do the glory. He says, okay, keep singing, and I'll let you know what to do when I let you know. Mm -hmm. I said, uh, Lord, that's not going to work. <laughs> we have like maybe five, two minutes, maybe, before she's on the stage scratching me. And the Lord said, but listen, it's better to be an amateur in the new than a professional in the old. Mm. Wow, that's good. So I know how to do the old way, but I don't know the new. So a lot of ministers don't know the new way, so they're not willing to take a faith step in the new glory. They just want to do what they knew, and it's going to take them light years to get the same results. Mm. So, I, so I stepped in. I started singing. The demons are coming out of people. And then he said to me, now, all those angels that were cast, helping you cast out those demons, mm. ask them to come and help you to deliver this one. Because this one is more like a, I think it's like a principality or something was in this, mm. in this lady. Or a higher level demon. It wasn't just a little demon. And and it, so I said, with the angels on my left, I did it with a British accent just for fun. No no emotion. <laughs> with the angels on my left and the angels on my right, please accompany this woman. That's all I said. <laughs> and she went, ah! And she could see the angels running at her. And, and she started kicking and screaming. And all the demons came out. She came out completely normal. Got saved. Wow. And then masses of souls got saved that night. Yeah. So yeah. I started learning <laughs> even deliberately. Deliverance in the glory versus doing it in the in the natural. Now, if you don't have the glory, then you're stuck with, you know, if, you're, if your kid hits the ground and cuts his head open, you're not going to say to your son bleeding profusely, well, we're just going to wait for the glory to come. No, you're going to pray and you're going to do. But but there's other times where this only comes out by, you know, by prayer and fasting, that scripture that this boy can only be delivered. But it was about glory because fasting was one of the access points into the glory. It wasn't works. It was 
they had just come off the Mount of Transfiguration. They weren't eating. They were in a fasted realm in the heaviest glory they've ever been in. They come off the mountain, and with a word, Jesus just says, go. Higher the glory, the quicker the deliverance. Yes. You know, with, a, with one wow. word, legion, legion came out with 6,000 demons, one word. The lower the glory or anointing, you're going to spend 6,000 words trying to get one tired demon out. Mm. Mm. And then and then you start sounding like a demon. Hi, I have a deliverance ministry. <laughs> Are you a demon? No, no. Come out. No, no. It's not a demon. It's my voice. And then the demons get confused because the demons, when you're casting them out, they think you're their brother. They're not like, oh, are you? Wait, are you my brother? So, yeah. So <laughs> They get confused. <laughs> yeah, because you do all night deliverance, and by the end of the night, you sound like a demon. And then, and, then you do the and then you do the nuclear option. You know, when you're really tired, you get in the flesh, you say, listen, if you don't come out, I got to go to, why should I come out? Because I got to go to work in five minutes. I've been up all night. If you don't come out, I'm going to send you to my mother-in-law, and then they go, ah! And they come out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that one. I like that one. <laughs> I was, you know, we have a good mother. <laughs> just, just don't tell your mother and all the joke. Right? I, I, I have a special request for Dr. David Herzog. Yeah, go for it. The, yes. uh, the, the special request is that there are, God is showing me there are multitudes of people and the, the glory of God is is uh, evidence with fire is all over the people all over Africa and around the world that are watching now and so many people are hungry for this glory and hungry for salvation and hungry for miracles if uh, and God's just asking me to ask Dr. David Herzog to pray now for the people because all these things are are taking place right now and it's just like God's timing so right now you want healing delivery and salvation right and, and the fire of God, the, the glory fire is going all over the people. It's been going on for about an hour. Yeah. I've wow. been seeing it for an hour. Yeah. All right, Lord, we just pray that, first of all, the fire of God's glory to fall on people, impartation to come on them. Lord, of glory, of visitation, take them higher, Lord. Lord, take them higher. Give them the source of all the miracles, all the deliverance. Give them the presence. Give them the glory. A lot of believers watching, Lord, Lord start to fuse them with glory. Open the heavens. Let them be so caught up in your fire and your glory that they don't they won't want ever to lose this dimension. They'll do whatever it takes to maintain it and to keep it, Father. Almost like a good drug where I can't live without this presence, without this glory. I cannot go one day without you, Lord, like Moses. I don't go without you, Moses. If you don't come with us, we're not going, but we're addicted to your glory, to you, your presence. We pray deliverance on people. We cast out demons. We command mass demons to come out, tormenting spirits. Go. Fear and, and, and worry and go in Jesus' name. Pray for Amen. masses of healing Amen. and miracles. Whatever you need, just take it from the heavenly realm. You don't even need a word of knowledge. Just step in and grab it. You know what's wrong with you. I decree healing the kingdom of heaven is a hands laid the way. Just grab it. Healing, miracles, wonders, fire begin to fall. Jesus. A greater glory, Father God. A greater glory, Father. Acts 4 says, in great glory, in great power came upon them. Acts 2 is power, but Acts 4 is great power. Great glory. Great, Father. Acts 2 is added. Acts 4 is multiplied. We declare the greater glory, the great power. Great grace came on them all. Unmerited favor. Lord, take him from good to great, now, Father. Fire all over Africa and the nations. Phone the people, Lord. Let the fire from heaven consume the altar and, and destroy the witches, the false witches, the, 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 the divine fortune tellers, the demonic priests. We declare the fire to come and set them free and open up their eyes to know Jesus, Father. We thank you, Father, for fire to fall across Africa, glory to fall, signs and wonders to fall. In Jesus' name. You want to add to that, um, Michael? Because you had you got that. Why don't you, why don't you pray, Michael? Okay, thank you. Thank Jesus. Every I want to, everybody, please pray with me. We're going to say the miracle prayer for more of God's glory, for miracles in your life, and for uh, <laughs> radical, radical miracles taking place in this world right now. So just join me in this prayer. And I want everybody, it's really important you say it out loud. So let's all say, Jesus. Jesus. I, got, I can't hear you. Jesus. Jesus. I got to hear this all, way, all over Africa. Jesus. 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 Amen. Jesus. We believe. Jesus. Yeah, we believe. We believe you're the one true God. We believe you're the one true God. We believe you're the one true God. Yeah. We believe you're the creator God. We believe you're the creator God. 
Oh, we want your glory. We want your glory. Jesus, you you died on the cross. Jesus, you died on the cross. And all your blood poured out. And all your blood poured out. All your blood poured out. To wash away our sins. To wash away our sins. Wash away our sins. You paid the price for our sins with your blood. You paid the price with your sins with your blood. Paid the price for our sins with your blood. Uh, Jesus, then you, you died on the cross. Jesus, you died on the cross. And you were buried for three days. You were buried for three days. And you rose from the dead. And you rose from the dead. Alive forevermore. Alive forevermore. Jesus, come and live in our hearts forever. Jesus, come and live in our hearts forever. We surrender to you. Jesus, we surrender to you. Yes. Baptize us with your Holy Spirit and fire. Baptize us with your Holy Spirit and fire. Ooh, give us your fire. Give us your fire. Ooh, Thank you for the fire. Thank you for the fire. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for miracle healing for us now. Thank you, Jesus, for miracle healing for us now. Glory miracles for us now. And for our loved ones. And for our loved ones. And we will give you the glory. We'll give you the glory. We'll tell everyone you did the miracles. Amen. The rest of our life, we'll tell them you did the you did the miracle. Thank you, Jesus. People are being delivered right now from alcohol, from drugs, leprosy, AIDS, coronavirus, Bushandara Baba. Brain cancer is being healed right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All uh, Even without Amen. saying a word of knowledge, yeah, you, receive Jesus. your miracle now. Receive Thank it now. You, Wherever you need the miracle, put your hands on your body now. Receive it. If you got a loved one and they're not there, stand in the gap for them. Put your hand on your body where they need the miracle. Be healed in Jesus' name. By yes. the glory Amen. of the Creator God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you are healed. The dead are raised in Jesus' name. All over Africa, miracles around the world right now. Miracles are taking place in the glory of God. In the glory of God. In the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. We say thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. 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 Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I just, Amen. I just, I just felt in my heart that, um, you know, there's, there's people that are watching, even in the, even in the younger generation, you know, everything, everything that we've been talking about in this program, there is, I believe that there's mantles that there, there are, there are mantles that God wants us to pick up in this generation. You know, there's, there's mantles of even the glory of those people that have gone on before us. You know, there, it's readily available to tap into in the glory. And, and if you're watching and, and you're a young person i really believe i wanted to encourage i really felt this on my heart that there's people watching you felt like you've lost your fire you felt like you've lost your passion and and you, and you feel like you're not worthy to do what god's calling you to do well jesus when he died on the cross he shed his blood he paid the price he made the access point so that you and i can step into who he is and what Amen. he has for us Amen. you know and i i even feel that there's a that there's young ministers that are watching you know one in particular that that you feel like you've lost your ministry or you've lost the, the call of God or the anointing of God God has not left you his call has not left your life he is with you you know and and if you would just make your life about him it's not about a man it's not about the ministry it's about who Jesus is and I believe in this this generation God's raising up a Jesus generation yes. a generation yes. of people that are by his name yes. that are go to the nations of the world that it's not about an agenda it's about the mission of the kingdom of heaven and Amen. if you refocus your heart to say look i might have lost my ministry i might have felt like i lost that but i have not lost jesus if you hold on to him the greatest harvest the greatest working Amen. of the holy spirit will happen in your life i just want to pray for that right now i just feel that on my heart that god wants to birth a new fire a newfound passion from his presence from his glory in your life but when i was four years old i I suffered with a speech impediment. I couldn't speak, but I had a call of God that I was going to be able to speak the gospel. And I remember I got it. I, I, I got in touch of books on the glory from David and Stephanie Herzog, and I met uh, Doctor uh, Shiva Mudley, and I just began to meditate on the 
on the magnitude of who Jesus is, I, I just began to fall in love with him, not with the ministry, not with even the call, just who Jesus is. And it was in one moment that everything shifted and I began, I, I got healed. And I just want to encourage anyone that's watching is that the same place that the enemy created the foundation to be your greatest defeat, God's going to use that to be your launching pad. He's, it's going to be your place where you're going to launch from that. Peter's defeat was the boat, but God used it as his greatest testimony through his glory. So I just want to pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I ask you to stretch forth your hands and you do the signs, the wonders, and the miracles. Right now, Father, for those that are watching, Father, I thank you for your presence, your tangible, manifest glory, who you are, Jesus. You are our greatest reward. Lord, I thank you right now that you would touch even our hearts, even our lives. God, I pray that your precious blood that is flowing would wash us from all unrighteousness. Father, I thank you for the right standing and the access that we have because of the working of what you did on the cross, Father God, that's still working in our lives today. Lord, I thank you right now. Holy Spirit of God, my dear, dear Holy Spirit, I ask you to light a fire in our hearts, light a fire in, in even, even those ministers, even that minister that's watching, Father God, that, Father, that it'll be vision, not just vision for ministry, but a vision of Jesus. Father, take us to a place when we close our eyes that your face is branded on the back of our eyelids lord that, that our hearts are are one with your heart that father that we see you in every area lord i pray for those people that are watching i pray that this would be a season of igniting that it will be a season of igniting who you are in their lives in jesus name amen amen, amen. 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 I've sent through a prayer request. I've sent it both to uh, Dr. Michael and Dr. David as well. Uh, you'll see it on your WhatsApp there. And I'm just going to quickly call out these names. And I, we, we, we want to pray for them right now. And, uh, and then, we, uh, then maybe, uh, uh, Dr. Michael, we can do another salvation prayer before we, before we close up. Uh, uh, and, and that's and then Dr. David as well. If there's anything you want to still share as well, you're welcome. Uh, but let's just let me just quickly go through this list. There's Thomas Vagis, who is in ICU with a heart attack. Johnny needs deliverance. Kajal and Guiana, ears. Both girls use hearing aids. In fact, right now, right now, uh, I just have a word of knowledge. Uh, Kajal and Kiana, uh, mom and dad, if you're watching, ask them to take out the hearing aids. Take, take out the Amen. ears. Mm. God's going to open Amen. both the ears right now. Amen. Amen. And I Amen. want you to, to do Amen. a video testimony and send it to us because they're going to get healed right now. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Take out Shut both up. the hearing aids. Take it both out. There we go. Now, Father, in the just lay hands on them, Mom and Dad. Just lay hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bind that deaf and dumb spirit. In the name yes. of Jesus, we command the ears to open and be healed. Yes. Creative miracles right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. We reverse every damage to the eardrums, to the ossicles, to every part of the ear. Thank you right now. They are healed. They are healed. They are healed. Now, Mom and Dad, I want you to quickly go, click your fingers around the ears and, and move away from them Amen. and test them out. Test them out. They're healed. Amen. They're healed. They're healed. Right. Amen. Mm. And then I want you to quickly share the testimony with us. Send it to our social media, whichever way you connected, and just tell us what happened. And if you can, send us a photograph as well. Amen. Amen. Uh, sorry. Uh, then there's Anton with brain injury. Jesse, you're going to quickly call out these details. And um, we're going to pray corporately uh, from Hawaii to um, uh, Phoenix, Arizona, to uh, what do we call this place here? Wakanda in, in Africa. <laughs> so, amen. So just to go down there. Um, Anton needs We're healing Wakanda. brain injury. Magda, healing for stomach and digestion problems. Viroshan, lung and chest pains. Siano King, healing of iron deficiency and a lump on the body. Golnazi Arif needs healing from gingivitis and pain in the arm. Sandra, hard to function normally. Kingsley, stomach ailment and not able to eat. Amal, stroke and brain damage. Colleen needs healing. Rachel, severe swelling and leg pain. Colin, gout, stress. 
Carol inflamed intestines, Sarika muscular dystrophy, Raisa autism, Gulnazi gingivitis, Nklandla chest pain, Santram total India. healing. Uh, Santram from India needs mental and physical healing. Angel uh, needs the poverty curses broken over their lives and healing for the spouse as well. Shakila is anemic. Tasha skin. Terence diabetes. Wow. Minani healing from cancer cells in the body. Natisha sinus and asthma. Anita has a laser operation for her eyes, both her Amen. eyes, on the Amen. 20th of May. Yeah, yeah. Theo needs healing from cancer. Wendy, healing from cancer. Patrick, pain in the legs. Ruth, artery disease. Connor, healing of body. Hair needs to grow in the, and healing in the eyes. Amen. Diana's Amen. husband, pain in the, in the waist. Mm. Savika Jesus. has a lump on her Jesus. breast. Jesus. Patrick and Maria yeah. need healing from HIV. And just, just call the names of people that break yeah, through. Yeah, these need we'll breakthroughs. Pray one time. <laughs> so yeah. those that need Thank breakthroughs you. are Ruth, Paul, Nerissa, Ayumide, mm. Lori, uh, Laura, Paki, Adele, no. STR17, yeah. Navi, Romila, Gulnazi, Laura, Natasha, Maureen, Stephen, Simfu, Mene, Milton, Colleen, Desigan, Carol, Shivesh, Sureka, Theo, Glory, Ottilie, Adele, Ngozi, Keegan, Koditsani, Shlogi, Anjit, Jabalile, Julie, Lazarus, Cameron and Savania, Sudesh and Romila, Inzi, Mungoma, Niraj, Danny and Adele. Yeah, there's more. There we are. <laughs> Anusha Ventino, Dennis, Rejoice, Ash, Mankelo, and Ruth. Now, thank you for sending us your prayer requests. Even if you didn't get a chance to send it through, uh, you just stretch your hand towards the screen. We're going to pray. I'm going to ask the Hughes family in uh, uh, Hawaii and the Hazog family all the way in Phoenix, Arizona, to pray for these here. You can pray. If you want to pray for anyone individually, God speaks to you, that's fine. Or if you just want to pray corporately as well, that's also great. You know, a lot of people that send in the prayer requests, they've already been healed because the power of God's here. Yeah. And, and when you guys are praying, the power of God just hit them. They got healed. But, we, we, but, but we'll still pray for all of them uh, for healing, for miracles to take place. Amen? So... Dr. Amen. Michael, do you want to go first, and then we'll go to Dr. David? Yeah. Thank you. And I, I want to tell the people in Revelation 12, 11, it says, uh -huh. we overcome the enemy, the devil. We overcome him right. by the blood of the lamb Amen. and the power of our testimony. Amen. And so what uh, the reason I'm saying that scripture is a lot of people have already been healed, or you're about Amen. to be healed right now. Amen. It's very important that you give your testimony. And yeah. uh, Dr. Muli and, uh, and Dr. Herzog and... Mrs. Herzog, we'd all like you to send in video testimonies of yeah. your healing. Everybody's got yeah. smartphones, and you can you can send in a video, and we can yeah. show these Perfect. on programs next yeah. week and the following weeks yeah. and so forth. Yeah. And it's really important. You get to testify to the whole world about the miracle that Jesus has done for you. And what I've found, people can lose their miracles, but you won't lose your miracle if you testify because yeah. you overcome the enemy by the blood of the lamb. So you, you give credit to Jesus and his blood on the cross of Calvary for the miracle. Jesus is doing the miracle. And your testimony, you stop the devil from stealing, robbing your miracles. And uh, right, and we're going to pray for Hallelujah. prosperity. God just told me right now, word of knowledge, people are suffering around the world financially because of the lockdown. We bind and break that spirit of poverty Thank and you, we Jesus. loose the spirit of prosperity. The yes. spirit of prosperity, yes. which is the Holy Amen. Spirit of Amen. the living Thank God. We loose that right now. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing the people. Thank Laying you, your hands on them. You're 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 everywhere. You're you're an all present God. Lay your go in their homes, Thank go you, wherever they are, Lord. lay your hands upon them now. Thank you, Lord. And the fire of God is going to go yeah. through them now. The yes. fire of God Jesus. healing every Jesus. one of these people. That we read the request and the ones that we didn't read, heal everyone that's watching, every one of their loved ones right now. Thank you, God, for miracles, miracles. And it says in the Bible over and over again, 
and the multitudes came to you and everyone was healed. Everyone was healed by by mass miracles. And right now, and but the people that stayed home weren't healed. So right now, come to Jesus. Say, Jesus, I need your healing now. Jesus, I need your miracle. I need your salvation. You are the living God. You're the Be living here. God, the creator God. You're the God of love, the God of forgiveness. And I am forgiven. We are forgiven by your presence, your blood, you, your love. Jesus, Thank you, you, Jesus. you died on that cross, rose from the dead in glory. That glory is all over us now. The glory is healing people right now. All for Africa, are all over India, Pakistan, Hawaii, Australia. The United sure. States, Europe, right now, yes. people are being Be touched by the glory Be of healed. God, by the glory Be of God. Be Be God. Hallelujah. God has sent uh, his apostles, uh, uh, David and Stephanie Herzog, to you today you, with Lord. the glory of God for the special, special message. Receive Amen. it now. Receive the glory name. of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Name. Receive the miracles now. Yes. Receive the, the presence of, of the Creator God in your life right now. And we bind every foul devil in Jesus' name. Jesus and cast name. you out. Jesus and name. Fire to burn for yes. Jesus' name. Never Jesus return to any get one again. Loose the people now. In your life right now. It's the miracle. Thank the you, Jesus. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. Eyes Thank are being Jesus. People are completely blind. Their eyes are opening their mouths. Send us in a video testimony. We want mm. we want video prayer requests and yeah. video testimonies. And Amen. Dr. Fully and I, and I'm sure Dr. Herzog will join us in follow-up programs with these testimonies and with these prayer requests. Send in one-minute videos, 60-second videos. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Michael. I, I actually, I felt a part that there's there's a person watching. I believe you're a lady. And uh, you actually have a slip uh, slipped eyeball um, on the left on the left side. And um, as you're watching, I see the light of God, the glory of God touching your eye right now. Mm. And I just want to speak in the name of Jesus. We just released mm. the, the, the heat, miracle working power of God right now in Jesus' name. We command the retina to be recreated right now in Jesus' name. Um, and there's also a person that, you know, you have a throat, throat cancer. It's on one side. It's really weird. I, I don't know how to describe it. It's like on half of your throat on this side, and it's 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 almost like it's almost like a skin. It's almost like a skin throat cancer or something like that. It's 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 almost like on the outside, and it's like really really bad. But in the name of Jesus, Father, we declare new skin like a baby, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for that. We speak healing right now. In the name of Jesus, uh, in, if you're that person and, and that lady, I see just clarity coming to your eyes right now. Just like it, like it's almost like it's almost like the Thank eye that Jesus. was slipped is going to be clearer than the other eye that was okay. So we speak both the eyes to actually be okay. In Jesus name. Uh, thank you, Father God. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was getting during this time, uh, people. Uh, that are suffering with fear and tormenting spirits. Mm -hmm. God is delivering you right now. Mm -hmm. Anybody yeah. suffering with tormenting spirits, especially in the night, and the spirit of fear Jesus, just yeah. gripping you and paralyzing you. Yes. In the name of Jesus, be set yes. free from fear. I pray for the perfect yes. lo love of the Father <laughs> to just fill their hearts Hallelujah. right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank the you. perfect love casts out all fear. And I Amen. pray, Jesus, just give Amen. them a revelation Amen. of how much you love them, God. And I pray mm -hmm. during this time that every fear breaks off of them. Every tormenting spirit oh, leaves Jesus. them now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And I also pray for a supernatural Jesus. peace to just flood their souls right now. In Jesus' name. And people suffering with cancer, uh, I would command cancer to be healed in the name of Jesus. Every form of cancer to die right now in Jesus' mighty name. Cancer does not belong to you. Only health and healing belongs to you. And Jesus paid the price for your healing. So we break off cancer off of you now. Every cancer cell I speak to you and you die right now in the name of Jesus. And you never come back. Never come back in the name of name Jesus. Of and Jesus. I speak to the healthy cells to, to mm. rapidly develop and accelerate and multiply in the name, of, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And any damaged Thank organs, any damaged 
body part be completely healed and restored and functioning properly now in the name of Jesus. And any indigestion and digestive problems, I speak healing to that now right in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, that you're giving them peace in their digestive system. Whatever is wrong mm. with it, Father, that you're healing it right now Amen. in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Amen. God. And I saw, I saw when I looked at the testimonies or a request, I saw brain injury, yeah. and it, immediately I saw a vision, and I, it reminded me of we were in Rome last year, and a guy came up. He was completely brain injury, paralyzed mm-hmm. from a stroke, everything. It instantly healed in the glory, just in the crowd. Amen. And he mm. threw his crutches, started walking, and his brain injury was Bless healed. Him. So I pray for every brain disease, every brain injury, even those who are, who are in a coma, anything to do with the brain to be totally healed right now. He took the crown of thorns and he healed every brain disease. We declare brain injuries and time to reverse, go back in time to before the incident that causes the, in the glory realm, there's no time. So we declare time reversal over your brain, like a rewind back to before you have the accident or the trauma, or the injury, and then set it, Lord, right at that time. We declare time reversal over the brain injury, that their brain function will be normal, their circulation will be normal, their speech, autism also to be healed. In the name of Jesus, everything to do with the brain, to be totally healed by the power of God, in Jesus' name. Even increase their IQ, Lord. It says that Daniel was had 10 times more uh, knowledge, wisdom, revelation yeah, than yeah, all the yeah. other men in his kingdom. So Thank even you. supernatural IQ, even Thank memory you. loss, Lord. And now, now they remember where they put the keys. Thank they you, remember Lord. where they put their wallet. They, they remember who their husband is, Father God, or, or their wife. <laughs> in Jesus' Thank name. Jesus. Maybe they don't, maybe they don't want Lord. to remember, but Lord, give them perfect memory, Lord, in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I just want to read some of the testimonies we're receiving while you guys are praying. Yeah. Uh, there's still more yeah. and more testimonies wow. coming in uh, because remember, the people from the different streams are sending the testimony to a central point and then they're publishing on. But at the moment, we've got Maria was healed of cramps in her left leg. Keegan, nice. chest Amen. pain is gone. Thank you, Praise Jesus. Saret, Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. I received the gift of unknown tongues while we oh, wow. were praying in the Holy Thank Ghost. Jesus. Wow. Just took over my Thank body wow. and I prayed with tongues for the first time. Wow. 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 Lulama, Hallelujah. pain I had in my chest is gone. And Thironu, wow. right? Healed instantly wow. from Jesus. swollen uh, uh, arms wow. and pain in the arms. Hallelujah. So the swelling disappeared wow. Wow. and the pain wow. disappeared in the arms. Wow. Amen. Wow. And there's still more and more people wow. bringing testimony wow. in their testimonies. Amen. Oh, there's more of them coming. Awesome. So praise God. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're, having a, we're having a crusade in Africa right now. This is a crusade in Africa. Amen. Amen. <laughs> without flyer. Without, without yeah, flyer. We, f- yeah. we don't get to freaking fly miles is the only problem. <laughs> and you know what? The miracles are still going on. Yeah. yeah. We're yeah, still in the flow. I can, I can just see it. They're just yes, keep, yes, going, right. keep going. Keep going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, Baba. It's, it's flowing Jesus. even now. Thank like if you're watching, yeah. just take it. Yes. it just Hallelujah. receive the atmosphere. Just grab it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Well, I just Hallelujah. want to share because I got healed of leukemia when uh-huh. I was 16. Right. Leukemia wow. is a cancer of the blood. Mm-hmm. And so oh. I, I really uh, hate cancer. So oh. I have a faith to see cancer people healed. Amen. Amen. And um, I had it when I was um, eight years old. Mm-hmm. I had bone marrow surgery when I was eight mm-hmm. because of the leukemia. And um, it's supposed when the kind of leukemia I had was my white blood cells were way more than my red blood cells. Mm -hmm, And mm -hmm. so um, they gave me the bone marrow surgery to multiply my red blood cells Mm -hmm. equal to the white blood cells. And I was fine for a while. But then at the age of 16, it came back stronger. And so uh, I was passing out every day in school. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. and I said, um, most people, when they hear bad news from the doctor, they start entertaining death. Oh, I'm going to die soon or, or get depressed or whatever. But I, I was like, no, this is, this is a lie from the devil, and I'm going to fight it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I took it on more like uh, God's going to show himself to be true. And so I was fasting and praying. I went to school anyway, mm-hmm. even though I had the cancer, the leukemia. And I told the Lord, if I believe that God's going to heal me, I'm going to act like it. And then so I went to school. I acted like everything's fine. But I had to go to the hospital every day and get a blood test 
so they can check and monitor my blood. Mm. And then, um, so during this time, uh, at that time, I was going to a church that mm -hmm. taught on healing, but there was no demonstration of healing. Wow. And then, so I said, well, God, this is in Chicago. I live in Chicago. So mm -hmm. I said, God, I can't wait for Benny Hinn to come to do a healing crusade. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> my life is on the line. I didn't know when he's coming or more Cerullo. Uh, I need to know about your healing power now. So yeah. I just grabbed the Bible and studied about healing from cover uh -huh. to cover. And I just uh -huh. claimed it and I just fought it and, and spoke spoke it and uh -huh. and I wore for myself and believed on God's healing power. Amen. And then and then the devil would tell me, Oh, here you are uh, declaring um you're healed, but look, you still have symptoms all over your body. Mm. And I tell the devil that these symptoms are all lies. The truth is what well, God amen. said this word amen. that I'm amen. already healed. Amen. And so I and the Lord amen. told me, taught me that during this time that the devil is a liar. So whatever comes out of his mouth is a lie. So whenever the devil would tell me, oh, you're going to die soon, just amen. accept it. Amen. I will be like, wait, if he says I'm going to die, then the amen. opposite of that is the amen. truth. That means I'm going to live. Yay, devil, I'm going to live. <laughs> and amen. I would twist his words again and use it against him. And whatever the devil would tell me, I would just reverse it and give it back to him. And, wow. and I would start praising the Lord and just wow. declaring God's word over my body. And then yeah. on the seventh day, my seventh blood test, the doctor uh -huh. said that there's something different about it. They said, wow. everything looks perfectly normal in your blood. Wow. And we don't understand that. We don't know what to call it. And I said, I know what to call it. It's called a miracle from God because God Amen. healed me and not Amen. the doctors, not anything. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then so I gave the glory to God. I went back to school all fired up. And I would have this song in my head, I got the power. Because hey, God me, you know. <laughs> and I was witnessing to everybody, everyone that I would witness to them and tell them about Jesus because he is true and he healed. Amen. Amen. And I'm free, cancer free. So Praise I believe wow. God you, is God. able Jesus. to heal anything. And mm. I didn't get it from a man of God or wherever. I just mm. sought God straight, straight from mm. heaven. Amen. So God, I, I learned and read about, mm. okay, let's do this, you know. And he did it. Mm. And it's just believing and agreeing with the word of God. Anything is possible when you agree with the word of God instead of the lies of the devil, the doctor's mm. report. Mm. I, I Amen. chose to say, Amen. Amen. Wow, that Amen. is powerful. That Absolutely. is powerful. powerful. And, you know, while you were talking, I know people are getting healed because every time the Amen. word of testimony is shared, you know, uh, uh, the devil is yeah. defeated, people are getting set free, Amen. and people are getting healed. And, and, and when you share your testimony, especially when you've been through something, man, there's nothing like someone who's been in the fire mm -hmm. and comes out and shares. Oh, yeah. Amen. And so, wow, Amen. that is really, Amen. really awesome. I'm so blessed by that. While you were talking, and we got more testimonies coming in, there's Artik who yeah. hurt his back some time ago, and the back pain just, just left, left him. It's completely gone. Amen. Wow. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. More and more Glory of them you. Lord. Wow, God is just so good. Now, this is what I want to do. This is awesome. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Rebo sikaraba shato robo sitaraba hande. God. Hallelujah. 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 Another wave. Oh. Another wave is coming right now. Another yeah, wave. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Some, someone's getting healed on the jaw, on, on the right hand side of your jaw. God is healing you. There's a lot of severe pain there. And God is, um, you, you don't even know where the pain is coming from, but God's healing you. It's gone right now in Jesus' name. Kiraba shata robo sita raba baba bahande. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Someone named Clarice being healed. Yeah. Clarice is being healed right now. If your name is right. Cl Clarice or Clarice, Clarissa or something like Amen. that, I see God healing your body right now in Jesus' yeah. name. And I don't know if it's you or someone else, but the, the, the number, I'm getting the number 1241. I don't know if it's your address or your phone number or your credit card, right. but 1241, someone's going right. to have a miracle, I think, in their finances. But that number resembles something Amen. for you. Let us know. Amen. 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 You remember earlier on, I prayed for two young girls, uh, Kajal and Guiana. Do you remember? Yeah. I just felt yeah, in the yeah, spirit yeah. I need to pray for them. So let me just read this. Two little girls uh, that 
we just prayed for. The hearing aids were off as they were almost asleep, but the mother wow. just clicked into each of the ears uh, to test, and they could hear perfectly. So here's the pictures of the I don't wow. know if you guys, Dave, can you? Wow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, oh, Catherine, so maybe you can, with a close by camera. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Wow. There they are. There they are. Have you got awesome. that in? Have you zoomed in there? You're in close. Zoom in? Maybe zoom in with a closer camera. Here we go. Ah, oh, isn't that powerful? Have you got that? There we go. There we go. Look at that. Instant miracles. <laughs> Instant miracles. Wow. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank In fact, give you all the glory. Uh, Hallelujah. He, Thank you, Jesus. No man can do this stuff. It's only Jesus can do this stuff. Yeah. Only yeah. He can do it. In fact, Amen. I want to do this. Whoever's watching me now, you know, there were there, there was two things that we that that I I I kept uh, uh, Sensing in my spirit, God was destroying, and um, especially when Stephanie was sharing uh, the demon of cancer, and and I want to pray with. Oh, there's there's more testimonies. Uh, there's more testimonies coming from people at the moment. I want to pray for anyone that's watching me right now. If you're watching me and you are deaf, whether you're completely deaf, yeah. whether you're deaf in one yeah. one year or not, it doesn't matter, right? If you've got someone yeah. in your family, call them right now. Call them up. Tell them to join the live feed. Or even if you've got your phone, right, get them on the other side of the phone. Right. We're going to pray right now. And Jesus Christ is going to open the ears. He's going to pop it open. Amen. I also want to pray. I also want to pray for people with cancer. There's a woman watching me. Uh, you didn't send a prayer request. You... You're asking this question. Is this stuff true? You have breast cancer. You have breast cancer. You're wearing a dress. It's got stripes on it, right? Your breast cancer is going to go right now. Do you believe that? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now get ready. I'm going to pray for you, and Jesus is going to do the miracle. Jesus is going to do the miracle. Amen. And I want you, I want you to, just like this family, I want you to uh, send your testimony to us, right? If you can, send us a picture of you. But you're going to get healed. Uh, everyone, everyone that needs hearing, you need hearing. Amen. Jesus Christ is the healer. Jesus Amen. Christ is the healer. Now, somebody nearby, I want you to lay hands on the ears. If you could stretch your hands towards the screen, take out your hearing aids. Take it out completely. Right. Put it off. Lay hands on the screen, point towards the screen. You're going to get healed right now. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you. In the name of Jesus, whom I serve, I bind every deaf and dumb spirit. Come off them now. Come off them now. In the name of Jesus, I command eardrums to pop open right now in Jesus' name. I command healing, 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 healing. Oh, Rabasata Rabahandi. I'm also praying for people that are blind. People that are blind. I bind every demon of blindness. Come out. Come out. I command. Creative miracles, creative miracles, create someone, uh, uh, you had uh, uh, like uh, measles, measles and on your optic nerve, it tore your optic nerve, God's healing your optic nerves right now, your eyesight is returning, as you're watching me, you, it's, it's, everything's coming to focus, you can see it again. Please, we need to see, we need to hear your testimony. Record it, send it to us. We want to hear your testimony. Now, if you have cancer, cancer is a demon. Cancer is a demon. Amen? It cancer will go because of the name of Jesus. It's going to go now because of the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand together as men and women of God. We stand together in unity and we bind that demon of cancer. In the name of Jesus, cut off them. Even that lady that's watching me, that lump is disappearing right now. I curse it. I curse it. I curse it in the name of Jesus. I bind the demon of infirmity 
and I also bind the demon of death. All three of you go in the name of Jesus. I command that body to come in line with the word of God. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Oh, someone else got healed. Someone else, you had cancer on your back, on your spine. Just go and get someone to check it out. It's gone. It's gone. Yes. It's completely gone. The lady, the lady, the lady with the lump. Feel it, sweetie. Feel it. I know you, you, you. You you still you still a little bit shocked? <laughs> feel it, feel it. It's gone. It's gone. Hallelujah. Kura ba sata ra ba hande. Rebo shikara ba sata ra ba hande. Yes, sheke sata. Woo. Reba ba 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 bo hondo reba sata ra ba hande. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Send this testimony. Send this testimony. Send this testimony. Someone's leg. Your legs are gonna grow out. Yeah. Right. Your legs. Oh, I just see. Oh, can you see that as well? His legs will grow out right now. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command that short. It's your. It's your right hand side leg that's shorter. I command that leg to grow Amen. and to meet Amen. with the other leg Amen. in the name of Jesus. This is happening right now. Jesus. It's happening right now. It's happening right now. You know, we, we, we've got Pastor David here on this program. I mean, Dr. David has on. Amen. And the glory is here. The moment... And the moment he came on the screen, the glory just turned up over here. Amen. Now, now listen, when you're praying with me, I know you guys are praying with me right now. Uh, there's a whole lot of people, and this is what God says. A whole lot of people are going to get drunk right now. Right? This joy of the Lord doesn't matter where you are, which part of the world. You know, there's a reason God releases joy. Amen. Thank you. One of the reasons is because when you laugh, you mock the devil. You get the devil in derision. That's what the scripture says. You mock the devil. But there are several reasons for it. Now, in this time where people have been fearful, people uh, 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 have been running away and hiding, now God's joy is going to fill you. You're going to laugh at that devil that's put fear in you. You're going to mock those demons that said you won't make it. Nothing is going to happen. Things are going to get worse. Listen, that's a lie from the pit of hell. Amen. The Amen. joy of the Lord is coming to your home. This is what I want you to do. I want you to join hands. Watch this. Join hands with everyone in the home. Everyone in the home. Ooh, now, stretch your hands. One of you, whoever is the head of the home or any one of you, stretch your hands on the screen. We're praying. Dr. David is praying. Man. Uh, Dr. Michael Hughes and, and young Michael Hughes, Steph, uh, Dr. Stephanie is praying as well, Pastor Stephanie. We're all praying together right now. But listen to me. This is what I see in the spirit. I see like a cloud, a cloud. Now, normally I see it on, on, on one place, but I'm just seeing it over your homes right now. So this is the first time for me. I'm seeing it all over your homes, wherever you are. I'm seeing a cloud that's being released. It's coming upon you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I can, right now in the studio, I can smell the glory. I can smell it. I can smell it here right now. I can smell it right now. Right. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the glory. I thank you for the glory. In the name of Jesus. Every one of you. Every one of you. There it comes into your house. Now. 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 Into your house. I've seen people falling onto the floor, rolling on the floor. I saw someone, you just jumped off the couch. You weren't even standing, you were sitting on the couch, you jumped off the couch. There's joy, there's joy, there's, joy. there's laughter breaking out. There's people just, just full of joy. Some people are holding each other. Some people are holding each other. 
handed. I give you the glory, Lord. 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 I give you the glory. My God, all over, all over, all over. Joy is just flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing. Dave, I want you to put on. I want you to put on Stephanie's face and to Stephanie and, 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 and Dr. David. Just put their face on. Oh, I can see. can't hear you. Okay. Amen. Amen. Came in. Just, just, just check the sound there, guys. Just check the sound. Just check the sound. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, can you we hear, us? hear you for like the last two minutes. Okay, okay. Your okay. sound is this. off. I think when you move away like this, we don't hear you. You got to stay right in front. Okay. Yeah, right, right there. <laughs> no, I'm using the mic. I'm using the mic here. Hallelujah. <laughs> Dave, just check the sound. Your voice is muted for like a minute. Oh, Dave? Is it right. still okay now? It's fine now? Yeah. It's fine now. It's okay it now? Break, it's fine now. Yeah, yeah, now I hear you. It was breaking it? up and... Oh, okay, 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 okay. But, but even though amen. I only saw your mouth moving, I could still feel the power. Even though there was amen. Power. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, we were praying. We were praying in tongues. It was going. It was yeah, going. It was oh great. my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! I can't read lips. I can't read lips, but I felt the power. Amen. 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 <laughs> you know, people are getting drunk in their homes. The glory of amen. God amen. is hitting people, people in their homes. Down. People yeah. are slain. So They're stuck everyone. on the floor. Drinks for everyone. Oh, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> you know, hallelujah. This you know, the Holy oh, kura ba 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 hande. Raquel is just Drinks sharing. Drinks are free tonight. Drinks are free tonight. Amen, <laughs> amen, amen. You know what? You got. You know, people are stuck on the floor. They are laughing. Amen. They are hugging each other. Amen. They are. They are. They're just feeling the glory. They're just feeling the glory. Uh, Amen. God, Amen. God, God just showed me, God just showed me that there was a cloud. Now, normally I see a cloud when I'm preaching and I know the glory is coming. Uh, you know, uh, uh, for the first time, I started seeing clouds over people's homes. So I've never seen that before. Amen. But it was over their homes. And I just saw God yeah. coming to people's homes and people started getting drunk. I'm getting testimonies. But Amen. listen to this one. A lady by the name of Mogi from Midran. I had a problem on the right side jaw. Remember? Couldn't close my mouth. There was a lot of pain. Now she's able to close her mouth, clench her wow. teeth, and there's absolutely no pain. Amen? That's the lady Thank we prayed Jesus. for earlier on with the teeth. You remember the mouth? I said someone on the mouth. Kura yeah. now, now people are sharing how they are rolling in their house and they're drunk <laughs> under the fire. <laughs> They drunk under the fire. Oh, Rabba Sata Rabba Hande. Wash your Rabba Baba Baba Bahande. Yes, Shaka Sata Rabba Hande. Oh, Robo Si Rabba Baba Baba Bahande. This is the fire of God, the fire of God. And more and more miracles are taking place. Even as we, you know, we, we, we were supposed to have finished by now, but more and more miracles are taking place. People are getting healed. Now, this is what I want. Yeah. I want you guys, both of you. Now, we've, we've got Dr. Michael to pray for us before. So we want you to pray for us here in South Africa. Pray for us, Jesse and I, and our church, for our ministry. Pray for all the people that are also watching us well. We want to catch that fire that's on your life. We want to catch that anointing that's on your life. Amen? Amen. We're ready to receive. Hallelujah. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your glory, Amen. your presence, Amen. Woo, your intimacy, Father. Let the greater glory come on Pastor Siva and his wife and his ministry in South Africa, Father. Lord, he's been faithful in the past season with the glory. He's been faithful in his ministry. Now I pray, Father, you bring an increase, Father, and a multiplication of that glory, multiplication of the influence that you'll touch the people who reach, the miracles you'll see, the resurrection. Directions you'll see. Father, I pray for an increase in the, in the favor with the government, increase in finances. He's been faithful a little, making favor over much, Father. We decree an explosion of his ministry across South Africa, Father, where at other times where he should have been on another level, but others have kind of pushed him back. I thank you, Father, that suddenly you are promoting him supernaturally and putting him on another platform that he on his own never could have had, Father, by himself. And there was a season where you should have been on a higher platform, but something happened. But, but God's saying, I'm, I'm, I'm going back Amen. in time and I'm reversing and putting Amen. you back on the platform Amen. you should have had. Amen. And as a season, you'll see the rising and falling of many. And many of my ministers who have been faithful in the last season, I'm about to promote them. And others who have pushed themselves Amen. ahead of his timing, God's going to demote them. But you're being promoted 
the Lord is saying, and I've seen increase like never before. I pray those who are watching that are under the influence of Dr. Siva, who watches programs, who, who, who follow his ministry, Lord, that that same greater glory that's on Dr. Siva also will start coming on the people watching. Visitations, Father, will be caught in visitations for days and days on end. Father God, will be caught in the heavenly glory realm, Father? Heaven will be a normal place where they reside. The courts of heaven, the, the sea of glass, the throne room of heaven. We ask you, Father, that glory, miracles, fire. Yeah. Yeah. Come on the people, Father God. Thank you. Ooh, like, like Elijah had fire. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The natural element, Father. He, he, he could command the, the weather patterns to shift, Father. I, I declare even a faith and a greater glory for the weather and the earth obeying your word in the glory realm. We just thank you for shooting out, even causing calling rain where there's no rain, calling crops where there's no crops, calling cows that are sick suddenly be healed, animals to be healed, thank you, Jesus. supernaturally. Thank you, Jesus. Even commanding locusts to leave parts of Africa, Father, like Moses with his staff. And, 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 and he, he brought it on Egypt, but he can also stop it over God's people. So we declare a greater glory, thank you, Jesus. Fire, greater miracle, greater healing to explode, Father. And even those watching that fire, people, a fire from the begin to come right now. These are like flames of fire. I thank you, Father God, for the flame of fire in the glory realm to be released. Now, water refreshes, but fire spreads. Many have been soaking in the in refreshing, but God's saying, go deeper into the fire, where once I cast you on fire, you'll be a, you'll spread automatically. You won't have to pass out tracts or wait for your church to do monthly evangelism. You'll just fire wherever you go. We just declare a fire in the glory, not just refreshing. But a fire. You should be baptized with the Holy Spirit and with fire. It's another baptism. We declare a baptism of fire to come. So this glory and this gospel spreads like never before. Well, on the street, when you're in the mall, when you're in the store, when you're in the gas station, suddenly you're sharing the gospel. Your, your ministry, your preaching, Father, in Jesus' name. Last week I was in a, we went to get Italian food. And this lady, she's a very famous, mm -hmm. she has four restaurants in, in, the, in our part of the state. She's on magazines. And she, we kind of know her because we go to this restaurant sometimes. And, um, and she was out, I was getting curbside food and she was there. And all of a sudden I looked at her and said, I see a vision. I see you on Dr. Oz when Oprah type stuff. And she, she said, oh my God, you won't believe Oprah just ordered all my food and maybe something's going to happen. <laughs> and it was just to get her attention that God knew she's not a believer. And it was able to minister. She said, can you hear, you can take my number. Never asked me for a number before uh, to hold her. So it's like, the glory is coming, and you'll be able to influence even Amen. business owners, Thank people of high influence, government, Amen. just by one Jesus. moment in the glory. Amen. 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 God, Amen. God gave me a word of knowledge earlier. That there's a head of state in Africa. There's a head of state watching this program today. Yeah. And uh, Pastor Siva, say a special prayer for him. I, I have a little bit of a word that he's to, to declare, and, he, and he's already told people he believes in Jesus, but he's declare strongly in his faith in Jesus, not to worry, that God is with him and he'll protect him, and things are going to work out great and be great for him and for his country. And, okay, thank you, Jesus. Put your glory all over this head of state that's watching right now. Put your glory all over. Have him know that you're the living God. You love him, and you, he's precious to you. You put him where he's at so he can give glory to you, so he can praise your name publicly. He can protect the people, and a great revival will now break out in this country. Great prosperity, and peace. And he's got people that uh, are coming against him. They're stopped in Jesus' name. They're stopped. And Jesus is with you. Jesus is with you. You. Jesus with you. And you should call, call Dr. Siva and talk to him and pray with him. That's what God's telling you. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 Dr. Siva, I have a word for you. You have a word. <laughs> yes, I have a word for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I see that God, God is um, increasing your prophetic. I feel like God is going to give you even a, a, a sharper lens, like HD, higher mm -hmm. definition in your prophetic. You're going to see finer details for your, mm -hmm. when you give words of knowledge or the prophetic mm -hmm. word. You're going to uh, see more specifics, more finer details that will totally blow the minds of people. And, and as you speak, it is going to be like a now word. It won't be like 20 years later. It will happen mm -hmm. for people. But as you're speaking it, it will happen, and I see an increase in angelic uh, mm -hmm. 
uh, God is increasing your angels for you, uh, releasing new angels that's never been released before in your life over you your and your wife and your ministry uh, and increase in uh, revelation knowledge and insight increase in um in visitations and encounters you're gonna have more heaven heavenly encounters and and you're gonna be getting people saved and training them quickly and like a lot of i see a lot of young people getting saved radically saved and delivered and it's gonna be like a a supernatural acceleration of Amen. training and discipleship Amen. to where in a year or two there'll be leaders and pastors Amen. right away because the time is running out the jesus is coming soon and uh there's that acceleration happening and you're gonna it's like a quick training no there's no more two years of bible school or four years of whatever yeah. is gonna be a an intense Amen. but quick training and because Amen. this harvest of young people they're gonna be Amen. so hungry and so desperate that their hunger will cause them to learn so quickly and be raised up quickly in such a time as this and they're going to move in not in a strong word and strong power mm. it's going to be both the marriage of word and power and glory that's mm. going to cause this young people to be like uh, uh an army that that's that, that that the world has never seen before and, amen. and they're going to amen go all over Amen. the world. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And a yes. new, like what he said, a new uh, angel of finance and influence. Uh -huh. People that um, that you have not reached before and it's not limited to government only. I'm seeing just like, just rich business people that are, that are like movers and shakers mm -hmm. of nations. Yes. You'll be able to have divine meetings with them, divine appointments with them and like even in plain tells you just like cross path and speak to them or prophesy to them or give them a word so i'm seeing that and and because of that there god is all uh supernatural resources that you've never had before it won't be from any traditional way or uh things that you know can come but it will be completely new and supernatural everything you've experienced up to now is just uh, the appetizer, if you will. Amen. God is giving Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Oh, awesome. uh, full man, entrees and the dessert. And, uh, and I believe this new season, this new era we're moving into uh, this next 10 years, be ready, fasten your seatbelts, both of you, because you're in for a wild ride that you've never wow. had. Amen. You're not just going to be on one wave of glory. I see you going from one wave to another wave to another wave of glory. And it's just going to... And I'm just learning to understand this one. How, then there's a new one that comes and God says, just, just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. Don't try to understand it all. Um, as... As it comes, just be ready to jump on the next one. Amen. Don't Amen. Uh, camp on one wave or one glory level. There's Amen. so many levels of glory he wants to bring. Just Amen. go with the flow and jump on as many waves as it brings to you. And Amen. and it's going to be uh, big and it's going to be glorious this next 10 years. You're going to see Amen. such a exponential increase in every way. Woo. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I received that. Amen. 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 Wow. Oh, wow. Amen. We love both of you. You are such a precious couple. You are so humble. Oh, we, we love you love guys. Love we love you guys too. You. you see, you love God's people. You have such a love inside you. Amen. And, uh, Thanks. And I think, Amen. I think all the people of Phoenix, uh, Arizona, are like that because we know Katie Souza very, very well. <laughs> She's just like that as well. <laughs> Now, now tell me, uh, the, uh, I think we put up your website, David, we put up the website on the screen, yes. you're right? It's on the, the screen. The glory screen. David, as of the dog. So, how no, the, no, it's, it's the, no, it's, it's the glory zone.org. Oh, there, there's, oh, there's on the screen. So yes. yeah, it's, uh, I've got a the monitor, but zone. because I'm watching the monitor, it's actually upside down. It's, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah glory zone. <laughs> Dot org, right, okay. The, yeah, so they, they got to put, they got to put the, thegloryzone.org. The Glory Zone, yeah. Yeah, it, it's, on, it's on the screen there. So, okay, now, cool. tell us about your new book that you've got out. 
Uh, I'm not sure how, when you released it. This on the is it Mysteries of the Glory or what is it? No, no, no. My, no, my newest one is Secrets of the Glory. Secrets of the so Glory. So there's That's Mysteries, it, yeah. it's it's Glory Invasion, glory. but Secrets was was based out of a mentoring. So when I was mentoring people one on one and a small group like stuff I wouldn't share at a normal meeting or normal mm -hmm. that came out that book came out of that so if I were to mentor you you say man I really want to be mentored in the secret stuff the deeper stuff that's what that book is the secrets of the glory what I would be telling one on one if I was mentoring someone or a small group that's what I put in the book and that's actually been the best seller since the other two because people are wanting even more and deeper mm -hmm. so that's that's that book the, even mm -hmm. higher levels of the glory and and secret and just deep stuff so there's that book, yeah. And then I'm working on another one. Yeah, okay. Tell us, you know, in fact, that's the only book I, I haven't read yet was Seekers of the Glory. Amen. So I think I need to oh, get yeah. it. Oh, yeah. I know you can get it. You can download you the website. Glory Invasion. Glory Invasion. Say again? Yeah, they can order on the website. You can even the download uh, the uh, readable. You can just even read it tonight. You can just get shipping. Maybe if you're in Africa, it's kind of hard. Because the authorities might steal the book because there's a lot of corruption in Africa, so they might they might just they might say I'm gonna read it for myself. But but, but, uh, but you can download have him go out and open his own church. <laughs> exactly. How to use that? That's stealing that book. I will use it as, as to get him saved. So, but you can get the PDF. You can order also online. Just you can yeah. download the PDF of the book. Right. You know as well. Okay. So there's that. And Stephanie's got a book. God is your matchmaker. If you're single mm -hmm. and you've been like, how do I find my mate? How do I do it in the spirit the right way? She's got how awesome. Do, book. How do you find it in the glory? <laughs> yeah. Amen, amen. So, and, and, and I'll, give see, I'll give you a hint. It's not going on the on the website like christianmingle.com. That's not the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excellent. Anyway. excellent. So, so they can go to your website. They can get all your books there, both you and Stephanie. Uh, they can become partners with your ministry as well because you guys are yeah. more itinerant. Mm -hmm. Let me understand that, right? You are itinerant. Well, we're both. We, we itinerate and we host also conferences where we live. Right. And, and and stadiums. We we just hosted the stadium in January. We we had Kanye West and a lot of other glory people were there. So we we, we we itinerate as well. We have an online Pentecost conference the last weekend of May. You can watch it. We'll have Chuck, our friends Chuck Pierce and Sid Roth and Tracy. Right. No, no, who, who, a bunch of other prophets and glory people will be on there. Right. And so you can watch that. It's free. It's the last weekend of May, Pentecost weekend. Mm -hmm. You can watch, they can watch it for free. I'll, I'll be preaching, Stephanie will be preaching as well. And it's going to be interactive. Like, it'll be semi-live. Like I'll be, well, I'll be, we'll be hosting it, but then we'll have other speakers. We'll speak. It's going to be fun. Worship teams and Eddie James. And so there's that. And other than that, we'll, we can't wait to come to South Africa and Hawaii. Yeah. Of course, we almost, were, we almost, we were, almost went. <laughs> we were in Hawaii in March and we were supposed to go back at the end of March. And then the shutdown, and then the shutdown happened. We kept calling the Hughes, hey, should we go? Should we not go? And I was still going to go, even with the shutdown, even though my meeting got canceled because they didn't allow meetings. I was going to go anyway because I had the flights. But when I found out the beaches were closed, that, that was when I went, okay, I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> the, beaches just, the beaches just reopened yesterday. So oh, the beaches oh, really? are open. Oh. Yeah, All right. they opened well, yesterday. Uh, Welcome back. Hang up, beaches I'm looking, are open. I'm just hang up. I'm looking at okay. my schedule. We're going to rebook Ula, those Ula. tickets. <laughs> yes. Come on. Yeah. 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 So, Dr. David Herzog, I want to put your glory five up. Hawaii five up. We want to put your we want to put your Pentecost conference on Miracle Net TV on our. Uh, we have an app that everybody can download for free, and I want to put the your conference. We'll oh, run thanks. the whole conference on there. All right. So I'll have my media we, guy contact you, and he'll figure it out. Yeah, I, I'm really good Pastor at delegating. Ken, Pastor Ken Butcher. That is is he's he works with us and he's phenomenal. There's nothing yeah. you can't do in the, in the, and it's a it's a more than a, a technical anointing. It's a third generation or or more anointing. His grandfather worked with John G. Lake in the wow. he, healing miracle ministry. Oh wow! Yeah, and he, he's got this and he's got the anointing in every area and also in the media. So he can take we can make the connection and we can run it. And also, I just want to say everything that Dr. Herzog. And his wife Stephanie give us, gives us. We'll put on Miracle Not TV everything that Dr. Moodley and his wife uh, Jesse gives us. We'll put on Miracle Net TV. We want people to know we've got the most miracles, the most profit. Just this uh, last two weeks, friends of uh, uh, David Herzog, uh, uh, Cindy Jacob has had uh, conferences, and we ran those two prophetic conferences on Miracle Net. The phenomenal. Phenomenal. You get down by watching TV. You watch Miracle Net TV on your cell phone, or yeah. you can project it on your TV or on your 
Laptop. computer but you'll get you get lifted up by great men of god yep. like david herzog and dr moodley and their beautiful wives that are the backbone of their ministry amen have asian wives we both have asian wives so we, yeah and, and, and where, where's she from me too where's she from uh, where are what's you her, from what's where did i get you from <laughs> But but but, no, but what Asian background? What Asian background yeah. is she? What Asian? Yeah, and you, I thought you were Mexican. No, no I'm not Mexican. Okay, sorry. <laughs> she's Indian. I'm Indian. Indian. She's South African Indian. Amen. Yeah, South African. Indian. But she looks more like. But she looks more like Asian, like Filipino or Filipino, or China yeah. or something. Yeah. Indonesia. Indonesia. Yeah. No. That's why well, she got a little bit of Chinese blood in her. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you told me that when you, you did. Said, She's like, I'm married. You told me the Chinese blood. Are you now saying you don't have Chinese blood? <laughs> I, 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 think, I think the coronavirus scared her now to say she's part Chinese. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us about your no, wife. Nobody Where wants to claim to be Chinese. Where she's from Sweden. Can you tell? I'm, she's I'm, Swedish. I'm Swedish. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh, wow. no, no way. <laughs> You guys met in Bible school, right? Bible school. No, we are actually both Nigerians. We're, we're original Nigerians. <laughs> <laughs> That's better than where right. I come from. No, but I, I, we, no, but we did a DNA test. We did this DNA test. It's a really expensive one. It goes right. further back than all the other ones. Yeah, and I yeah. found out. I know it sounds crazy, but just get, just stay with me here. I found out that my DNA, I'm related to one of the people on Noah's Ark. Is that amazing? Yeah, <laughs> I I'm related to Adam. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, oh, you, you messed up my joke because then I said I did another test. And I'm really, Adam or Eve? No, they, they said it's either Adam or Eve. They couldn't specify which one. It's one of the two. Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys, you know, are such a was, blessing. Uh, we would love to have you guys back. Now, our church in South Africa is called the Miracle Center, and are we still there. live? Yeah, yeah, we still are. Yes, yeah. And Dr. Okay, Michael Hughes, <laughs> he runs Miracle Net. Amen. So let's quickly say goodbye to everyone because we we're running quite long and we can still chat after that. So uh, from Pastor Sylvan Jesse, go for it, David and uh, Dr. David and Stephanie. Stephanie. Well, what do you want us to do? No, you've got to say oh. goodbye. Say goodbye, David. Okay, here, here. Okay. Here's how, we, here's how we do it. Ready? Yeah. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Ba -do -do -ba -do. Good night, sweetheart. I really must say good night. Good night. Hey, we love you guys. Goodbye. Okay, great audience. I'm David Herzog, and I approve this message. I love you guys. Thank you so much. We love you. Thank you so much for all this. It was a great, honor. It was a great honor to meet you all. Wow, good, awesome. Good to have you as well. Stay on there. And Dr. Michael Hughes and young Michael Hughes, uh, do you want to just say goodbye to everyone quickly? We can't sing, we can't sing like David Herzog yeah, yeah. can, yeah, but we love song. you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have your Nigerian blood in you. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I you, guys are, you, guys are, you guys are Eminem, Eminem, Michael Eminem, and Michael. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Michael and yeah. Michael show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. M&M. There you go. That's Thank awesome. You, we love you guys, and may God bless you. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, Jesus. We love you guys, Michael. Thank you, Michael. We love you guys. Glory. We love the glory you guys. Fires all over you and all over all the viewers right now. The glory, the glory fire of God, the great overwhelming love of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So, viewers, God bless Thank you. you. We'll, we'll see you on Sunday at 9 a.m. Mm, God bless Day you. Special. And it's a Mother's Day special. We got two of the prettiest mothers mm. in South Africa. They are the two prettiest Christian mothers in South Africa. Amen. They are on the most wanted list. Amen. <laughs> so, uh, Sunday, 9 a.m. God bless you and God bless goodbye. You. Amen.